Ricky winning the Sony right here. Oh my oh god. Oh no. Down to 10 seconds. Yeah, he's just wasting time right yeah. now. Yeah. Oh, oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. This is going to kill. Yeah. This is going to kill. 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 Hey, how's it going, y'all? It is Arc Live here. It is Wednesday. We're in Southern California. I got some friends with me, but tonight we're going to talk about the uh, post Evo Japan and Anime Ascension, go over what happened over the weekend. But let me l introduce the guys who are with me. I got right here with me. Who? Me? Who? Me. Yes, you. Who are you? You have the seven star Dragon Ball right here. Oh. Ta -da. Ta -da. What's going on, guys? <laughs> I am Kissy K. Uh, I am with my homies. Mm -hmm. Sammy and Marlon Pike. What? Who? Um, uh, I think we got it mixed up. Okay, there we go. Right, there we go. <laughs> Wait, what? And we got the man, we can do the this. champion. No, the champion. The champion. The champion. The champion. No, the champion. The champion. The champion. The champion. SKD. Yeah. Yes, yeah, so well, I got all my friends. We're gonna talk about Anime Ascension and Evo Japan and what we got in store. For the future, but mainly just wanted to bring these guys over because obviously these are some of the familiar faces when we get into the later parts of tournaments, and so obviously some of the best we have in the United States for their respective games. So let's talk about that a little bit, and then uh, maybe we'll do a little bit afterwards. But anyway, uh, I wanted to first talk about how you guys felt about Anime Ascension because you guys were all there, and how you guys felt about how that tournament went, and uh, not necessarily just your results, but also just like. How you felt about the event in general? Uh, for it's been a while. Uh, I spoke to SKD about this actually, mm. and he adjusted to me. I was like, "Yeah, you know, I never thought of it like this." But uh, it's very like amazing to feel like after you're like playing, you mm. can actually enjoy the event. Yeah, because you know, like the way our schedules are like timed around, it's very hard to like enjoy the event when you're like playing, right. and then when you're done playing, you have to get nutrients. Yeah. And then the nutrients and relax, and then you gotta mm. come back and play again. Yeah. But actually, like coming into like this tournament, mm -hmm. I felt like I played, and I'm like, okay, I could like hang out with people I never ever hang out yeah. with before. Yeah. Yeah. Right? Actually, have time. Even though like we see each other at events all the time, like I barely get to spend any time with them. Yeah. We're just yeah. like, it's just like right. we 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 pat each other. Good yeah. luck. That's the, that's <laughs> yeah, the no, only no, thing we can do. Absolutely. Right? That's really like the one thing I really appreciate about um like themed events like this is like anime tournaments only like, right yeah you don't have to worry about like it, it, like i if if i play multiple games i'll be entering like this game this game that game like that guy's entering that game blah, 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 blah. but um if, if like if if the if like the theme of the tournament is like set we can just you know uh, yeah. do our own respective things and then just go out and like, you know. enjoy the turn yeah you know, there was a lot of, it was a nice venue uh, you you know, know, beyond even like the theme tournament aspect, like they took good care of us. They literally yeah. gave us all like, water bottles. Oh yeah, yeah. Water. Red yeah. Bull. Yeah. Yeah. actual yeah. water, yeah. hand sanitizer. <laughs> Yo, hand Bro, sanitizer that like, clips to the bag. Yeah, I was like, yeah. that's OD. And we got a, and we got a tag. And like, yeah, like, a keychain. Like, a keychain. I was like, Yo, yeah. That's do you remember what that, that, that keychain was from? Actually, it's from the limited edition from the original Guilty Gear Exer. Really? Yeah, that's pretty broken. What? Yeah, if you get the limit, the first original uh, Exert sign, it had the the game, the booklet, and yeah. the soundtrack, and then on the very bottom, it had that free uh, keychain. Free keychain, as in uh, the, the yeah. souls free. Wait, yeah, free? his it's a uh, no, no, it's on his head. It's free, right? Yeah, yeah. free Kaiser's waist. Yeah, yeah, it's freaking gone. Yeah, yeah it's pretty cool. So I have that one tied to my bag now. Mm -hmm. I actually still have that one in my in my limited edition because I never wanted to get it scratched. Mm -hmm. But now I have an extra one, so I'm pretty super excited. <laughs> Hell yeah. Like to scratch the baby up. Like, no, I'm just going to carry it around with me. That's part of the aesthetic of it, though. Yeah. Right? That's true, right? Yeah. That sold like it scratched up. Yeah, you yeah. know, like you like Itachi, man. You know how to. Like, <laughs> oh, I should cross it down. Cross it. Yo, I get, a, I get one that says hope and scratch yeah, it down. That'd be gone. Like, <laughs> no hope. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, like I said, man, it's very good to experience the event and, like, you can actually. 
feel like I feel like I can like give a full review yeah. of like everything like good about the event. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's that's what I was saying too. Like you know, it, it literally just went like the way that I remember tournaments should be. Yeah, you know? and it's been such a long time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Events are getting like really big and stuff, you know. So I mean, right. there's a pretty distinct like appeal to specialized events and stuff, and especially that it's like it was taken care of so well, like. That definitely just like made it even better. Yeah, yeah. I, I made I it agree. made me want to like. I'm so excited for next year. Like, yeah, I'm no, so I, 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 there, right? yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, it was so good. So yeah, I really hope that I think events should literally look into stuff like that and really take it into consideration. You know, like yeah. uh, just appreciating like you know the players. You know, like yeah, uh, it's very hard. I, and also the TOs were amazing. Let me tell you, like they got the job done. It was like, look, man, you want to play your match on here? You want to play on stream? Yep. You know, hey, we got stream matches going on. Like, I always felt like if we wasn't on standby for yep. so long. You know, it's yeah, just like, I agree. you're free to go. Yeah. You know what I mean? And I was just like, wait, excuse me? <laughs> wait, I can go do whatever I want? Yeah. And yep. it was good. Yeah. So credit to Axis Games and Level Up Live. They ran a tight ship. It was easy to work with them as well as the commentator as well. So that was fun. Uh, yeah, I can agree with that. They had a lot of setups over there too. So like as a commentator, normally the, yeah. all all the setups are used for games or yeah, tournament. I, was about to say. I got to literally I got to get off commentary and I was like, I'm gonna look for games. And, and like you, I never get to do that. Not know, at the event. You know what was cool thing about the setups too? What? They had at all the games that were like the main events, yeah. they all had them in every setup. Exactly. Right? Exactly. So even let's say for example there was a lot of people playing BB, mm-hmm. you could just go to the tag section and just play Rev. Or you can play CF. Yep. Like they all had all of the games, and that was like. And all the DLC, too. And all of the DLC. Everything. So it was yeah, perfect. Yeah, yeah. Thank you. Oh, <laughs> good. DLC is important. It's good. We've got some DLC players around here. Yeah, so it was good. Yeah, it was a great event. Um, I liked it a lot. Uh, for those mentions, uh, for those things that I mentioned, it was easy, it was fun, in and out, no big deal, you know. I got to see friends. That's the big thing. It's like, that's the same thing as well as like when you work uh, behind the curtain sometimes, you don't get to see anybody. Yeah. So it's like, it's a lot of that good stuff. Uh, it was, it was a fun event. Like I agree with you. I'm looking forward to the next one. Mm-hmm. Absolutely. And I think that if, uh, especially coming from a time where we didn't have so many like anime centric tournaments or even like just themed tournaments, where mm-hmm. it's like every tournament was supposed to have every single game, mm-hmm. having one that's catered to you or to your genre, it feels super nice. Yes. Yeah. yeah. So that was uh so we go over like some of the results and stuff like that. Obviously these guys uh, got kind of far, just a wee bit, but and it was had some of the best of the U.S. had to offer in terms of talent. I mean, it basically if you didn't go to Evo Japan, you came here, and so it was it was a really good event back and forth. I want to talk about uh, first. I'll just talk about like Guilty Gear. We have uh, two of the finalists here for Guilty Gear, and uh, I wanted to say like how did you feel like the event went? Uh, how did you felt like you did yourself? Uh, all of that good jazz. Uh, I I feel like as the event, it did pretty good. Yeah. Uh, I just need to. Uh, I know there's a lot of like schedule issues that's always hard, and I just need to plan out better of how to deal with like early, mm-hmm. early scheduling. Yeah, yeah. Or if it could be addressed, maybe in the future. But uh, getting used to that. Um, as far as my play, mm-hmm. I feel like I did pretty good for what I was, what I had. Okay. And I. I think that's pretty reasonable, right? Yeah. It's like you, you get what you work for, you get what you work with, and you just try to optimize as much as you can, right? Uh-huh. So I felt like I did pretty good. Um, I felt like everyone else that I was watched, they played pretty good. It was a good tournament, uh, yeah. So as far as GG, I think the performance overall and how the event was pretty well. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, definitely. I, I feel like there's a couple of players who definitely stood up. Uh, why do you think you lost? Me? Yeah. Uh, it was obviously like mental performance so you weren't like ready yeah so you weren't ready yeah mm. okay what's good I just wanted to know are you judging oh. him <laughs> are you judging him you asked me a question no, that's you that's you weren't ready for yeah. Yeah. I, 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 I would say I wasn't ready that's, like, a, that's do, the thing do you know what I have with me right now <laughs> I have seven star dragon ball are you talking to me yeah, what number you know I'm you're not on my level yet it's, uh, yo what level is that it's not he's got the go on one he's got the main one it's four I'm seven I'm the main character. I got the four. Like, it doesn't yo, matter what you made or not. Did you you're, not you're watch Dragon Ball? Respect your like, like, relax. Yeah, respect the four is the most important one. Jesus. I swear to God. 
He's being honest with himself. He got seven. Yeah, I got seven. What you got? Oh, you got seven. Right. Right. You got seven. Right. Oh, and you got first. Oh. Oh, and here. You got here. Oh, I definitely didn't get. I definitely didn't get anything. No, you said. I didn't get anything. I'm going back to the box. Going back to the box. I was the second commentator. I was the second commentator. I commentated two games. Yeah. Yeah. There you go. There you go. There you go. So. Oh, your lord, bro. All right. Let's let's get to the videos. Yeah. Enjoy your oranges. Sure. Oranges. Oranges. All right. So. Oh, so. Don't mess around. We are yeah. now. Take the round. So this is this was like uh, this was one of the big moments in uh, CF, right? Uh -huh. It was Breaker Dave versus Nano. Breaker Dave actually decided to go for Rachel. He was playing Arcune earlier in the top eight. Yeah, then decided to go for this one. Actually, pretty difficult for Arcune just because like. If he has to block any of the bits, like, his clouds will go away. Yeah. So, in terms of, like, her chasing him down, it's actually pretty easy. Yeah. So, I mean, overall, it's a much more convenient matchup for Rachel. Okay. But, uh, I mean, especially because, like, you know, Izanami has to navigate a lot of stuff as well. Mm -hmm. Especially considering she can't block while she's in Exodus, which is, like, her drive thing. Yeah. So, yeah. I'd like to ask you a question as well. So, you saw, like, uh, a lot of the times, Breaker Dave was going for, like, a more runaway tactic. Is that, like, specific to the matchup? Or is there yeah. something about him playing against an Anna? So, uh, when she puts the rib cage on, yeah. and you know the rib cage is active, uh, as him running away, the time limit on the rib cage goes out. Okay. So once the time limit is done with the rib cage, uh, it can put her in like danger state, yeah. right? Or uh, she, when she's like running at her, her defensive, her barrier, mm -hmm. her barrier is like not that strong because yeah. it you know, used it all for the rib cage, right? Yeah, right. So he's like wiggling down like her uh, defensive, like her defensive barrier. Okay. So when she does apply the pressure, she has to legitimately like, you know, hold the Rachel mix up and stuff like that. All right, that makes sense. That makes sense. Yeah, but Nano played really, really well. Uh, and I mean, was that, was that plus? That was, that this, was, this, that was the mad meter. <laughs> oh, the, the far slide into yeah, yeah, yeah. the bits? Yeah. yeah, yeah. Far slide into the bits. Yeah, overall, like, the way it works in this matchup is just, like, if you just kind of, like, whittle away at ribs, like, mm -hmm. she has to either deactivate it or just hold that and lose her ability to block during, you know, exit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Gotcha. So, and crush triggers, too. Yeah. Because crush triggers are, uh, if you don't barrier it, uh, it's a, it's a unblockable. unblockable. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, uh, putting, uh, Izanami on defense with no, no barrier is really convenient for, uh, Rachel. Mm -hmm. And... <laughs> Without like a really big starter or with the uh, with the vampire bat, yeah, she don't really get a lot a lot of damage. So when you're in danger mode, you get it's double the damage. Right? Yeah, right. Uh, one point five. One point five is the damage. Yeah, so okay. it's like one point five more damage. So now every hit matters more. Yeah, right. And then she's chipping you. Away. So it's a so it even amplifies chip. Uh, I believe so. Yeah, okay. I think it does. Yeah. Oh, okay. But either way, yeah, you, you you can tell. Like yeah. at that point, like you know, the game plan is to to whittle down the barrier and then afterwards get in and try to try to get the hit. Mm -hmm. That makes sense. Yeah, or she could just establish what are you doing? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Right. yeah. Well, it was kind of like a funny situation because like I guess Breaker Dave just like didn't recognize it and he kind of just rolled into this like huge fireball. Out <laughs> right. But I think this is the round. Oh, yeah, it looks like it. Looks close. He doesn't have super defense. Nah, he still is. Yeah, this is literally a little bit of a What? I don't remember him winning. I'm not sure nah, which one was I know what happened. I know what happened. It was the, it was the scrambled eggs. Let me show you that. The scrambled eggs? You remember this? this we might watch one. No, I don't remember. It was scrambled eggs. I remember this part because I laughed and I was like, wow. It was like, uh, it was a guilty gear mode. Oh it was a guilty gear mode. Like, you can get right there. Yeah, oh. <laughs> that yeah a that's, that's a guilty gear moment. moment. That was right. a guilty gear right. You can get chipped to death in this game. Oh, yeah. yeah. So this was winner's finals, if I recall correctly, right? Uh, yeah. Yeah? Because... No, no. I lost in winner's semis, actually. This yeah, is loser's finals. This is loser's finals. Yeah. Okay. Oh, very nice. Really like so what we, what we just saw now was winner's finals. That's right. That's right. Yeah, that was winner's finals. Yeah. Okay, so then he played Arcune versus you, and so going back to the Rachel. Yeah, the the general ideas. I mean, overall, I think his Arcune is a bit more solid, but like he just picked Rachel because of like matchup issues. Yeah. So, uh, I mean, I guess he kind of like stuck to his guns against me, but yeah, I was like, what are you doing? That was a godlike option. 
option. Yeah, I I was just like, oh, I know how many frames this is, like, how big that gap is going to be. So her teleport moves on the 10th frame, so you're, you're able to get out of there. There's a little bit of hitbox expansion before it, but that was just kind of like a timing thing, so... Yeah, yeah. I really don't remember the use. <laughs> oh my God, what's going on? Yeah, overall, uh, I mean, the whole thing about fighting Arakune is like one touch can, uh, you know, can mean the end of the round. So for you or Arakune? For me. Okay. Yeah. For him, like he'll he'll be able to get his like dead angle back. Yeah. Wow, I really did that. <laughs> No, I mean, it was really good. Yeah, That's yeah, why I was yeah. like, <laughs> damn, I'm nice. That was kind of interesting. Yeah, so, like, a lot of the angles I'm approaching at now, especially because I, I kind of realized, like, you know, I just wanted to be oh over at this point. Yeah. Right. So I started playing, like, really fast, but I was guessing in waves that was, like, uh, I guess, like, pretty pretty safe. Like, if you saw how he anti-aired me, I got hit on the backside, and he wasn't able to convert it. So he'd have to, like, forward jump to get, like, the full confirm, I think. Nothing risky so, at all. Like, that angle is just, like, a little difficult for him to feel anything. Around. If I hit a different button, it could have whipped entirely. Oh, but overall, yeah, I ended up getting cursed here. I, I've got a lot of burst, so I'm not too concerned. But yeah. I figure it's better that I, you know, try to weather it out. Pretty sure I was, like, really feeling it right now. And yeah, I was like, yeah, that block that. right there was really good. And then he slowly got out, and that was basically the game right there. Yeah, at this point, I was like, I have overdrive, I have meter. Like, yeah. And then yeah. I was just like, yeah. Yeah, that, I, I knew it was safe. I was like, if he does that angle, it's going to win. So. Yeah, but overall, like, I guess at that point, I mean, there was something else I was thinking about. I just forgot to mention it. <laughs> uh, but, yeah, I'm pretty sure I never want to see Arcane again, so... I'm, you know... Yeah, I don't mind. I don't play CF, but I agree with you. Yeah, he can, uh, wherever he can fit in third place. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he, he looks like a third place character? Yeah, he's a third place character. Dude. What about Izanami? Yeah, is, so... Izanami is a second place character? Izio is just a first place character. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So overall, this matchup is actually not so great for Izanami, even though it's a bit difficult for the Izuyoi player to play because you have to be able to like defend relatively well and like, okay. navigate like her neutral stuff. But overall, your space control as Izuyoi is like super, super significant, and a lot of times Izanami can't convert certain hits as well as you can, so you can kind of bully her in these spaces, and she can't really keep you off of her at all, which is. Which is nice. And if you see there, like, he's, like, running a barrier. Yeah. Oh, what's going on? Yeah, what did I do here? Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, wow. The EA striker. Yeah, and he was in danger. Yeah. Right. Yeah. So he, uh, and also he had the rib, the, uh, the, what was it, the three projectiles. Mm -hmm. uh, so he, she can't block. Yeah, she can't block during that, so he tried to ribs, but he already was so low on barrier that I just went for the EA there. Yeah, and gotcha. Oh, is that No, no, it's... See, I, I taught Kyohei at Easy Way Combo, and mm -hmm. he was like, wow, this reminds me of Fate Unlimited. So, it like, wow, thank you. <laughs> so yeah, it's it's mainly, I kind of feel like I have to like run, train on Izanami just because like I can bully her from these spaces. Right. And you you kind of have to, you know, you gotta move around a lot. There's, there's a, lot of, a lot of stuff to kind of like keep in mind. The projectiles play such a big role in the matchup too. Right. So, I mean, she can't block, and look at how big Izuyo's normals are, and yeah. the challenge and stuff, and like, they all convert into either knockdown or like, big damage, and you're right. just like, alright, like, I guess I'm dead. So it's pretty, it's pretty rough. It looks like a fun matchup, actually. It is fun, though, yeah. yeah. It's fun. Like, he said he out, like, to, yeah. around, like, if both characters kind of doing the same thing, but like, one's more like, solid, and the other one's more like... You know, momentum based, yeah, yeah. Based, so it was like a really good cat and mouse match. Yeah, seems a lot like a lot of jockeying. Damn, I was a god like Mikey <laughs> Dash Block. <laughs> it seems like there's a lot of jockeying for angles and stuff like that, and trying to give people like less optimal situations to like approach you. Mm. So yeah, that uh, movement in this game is like important. Yeah, you, if you can't move, like you go and lose. Oh, oh, oh shit, right, 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 right. Let's share the great moment. Share the Yeah, I was really like, I told him. Like, Why did this pause right here? Okay, okay. Immediately, what I said, I was like, I was like, I was like, can we play it out? I was like, I don't know. I knew it wasn't me, because mm -hmm. 
my profile was set to the screenshot one. But I guess he didn't set his. So they just told me to just kill him as soon as possible. Well, so it was his fault? Yes, it was Nano's. That was the second time I did that. And it started because me and Sammy called. Like, what happened? We did actually. Watch what happened at Grand Finals where he go and press the share button. We did actually. And I was like, why would you say such a thing? And it happened. I guess. Oh, that was good stats. Oh, and that was the last match. Yeah, it was the last match, but at least it wasn't the last round because I would have. That was that was ridiculous. I don't know how I did. I'm surprised. I'm glad that as good as you are, you're still able to surprise yourself. I, cause like, <laughs> like I don't remember. Oh, okay. I like that. Yeah, if he EA there, yeah. or tried to, if he also tried to, so I did that to cover backdash into bits. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 So <laughs> I was like, all right. Yeah, she's got fuzzies. That's why I told you to play her. So he's just trying to oh, oh, get your meter back. back. How do you block that? Those are all right? well, No, only, only so when she's standing, right? When she's floating like that. When she's standing in the air, it's not overhead. When she's standing in the air, it's not overhead, yeah. But when it's when she unflies, it's overhead. So she can overhead at any time. Right? But also she can set up fuzzy off of that. So so yeah. Oh no, no, we yeah, we're good. We got another match. Yeah. Yeah, okay. So yeah, that was CF. Uh, pretty darn good tournament. Congratulations. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> I did it for Kizzy. It was his birthday. Yeah, you did he gave me blaze boots for my birthday. Yeah, yeah. I, I, very I, long time. I gave him a good show. Yeah, of real blaze blue. Blaze blue. And I was very honored. Thank you. Blaze blue. I mean, you know, I always like watching blaze blue because it always shows up. It always shows up every time it's, you see it. At a big Blaze Blue event, it always shows yeah, up to be like, like a top those, eight. Everyone was like, "Those finals were ridiculous!" Yeah. Like every time, every though. single time. Yeah. I, I'm trying to think about the like the last times. I'm thinking like CO Taku. I'm thinking Frosty, and now I'm thinking this. Like last like events we've had for CF have been unreal. Yeah, especially because like tour stuff now. Yeah, yeah exactly. Now we're thinking about tour and people yeah. putting a little bit more investment into it. But I mean, even like this is wasn't a uh, Arxis tour event, right? It, it was, was just not, no. it was just anime essentials. But it was great it, practice. It was, it was, yeah, like any practice, you know, like when you look at some tournaments like that's not part of the tour, like like little practice like that is so good because you got to be so much in the mindset right. of like staying focused. Yeah, and like you know being able to like keep your mind structure of like what's the game plan. Yeah, so, for me it was like I felt like it's been such a long time since I've like competed at that level like consistently. Mm -hmm. So like this is like so important to me, and like you know it it doubled as a great event too. Yeah. So I'm like you know I'm so glad I actually came. Quality of life, man. Yeah, right. <laughs> right? Things don't gotta be bad. Yeah, you know, it's not yeah. Good. Well, it's good. Yeah, you know? I'm cool with that. You know? Yeah, I really I really like that. Um, that a lot of people took this seriously because it's not an art tour event. So that was like one of my fears early on was that like if anything that wasn't an art tour event, people were gonna care about. It. We kind of saw it with a lot of other games. I right? think as a competitor, I think I think as a competitor, a real competitor, like, yeah, you will appreciate good events. And yeah, of course. Yeah, this one too, especially just because it's like anime like centric only. Yeah. yeah, I mean like I think like you know if you go to a, another regional or something that like has like a different focus, maybe like Capcom, maybe like you know the players aren't really doing right. it as on it, but like this is like. Like you know, our event almost like industry. Yeah, you know, exactly. They yeah, provide for us. Yeah, and they, they do a lot for us. You they know? do actually behind the scenes, a lot, for sure. Scene, so yeah, you know, we got we got a show. You know? Yeah, and and the good thing is that like this was one of the first like anime centric tournaments before we like you know we have quite a bit of them now at this point, yeah. but like before we didn't have any. And this like four or five years ago, this was yeah. one of the first yep. ones that How we many had. Are there? There's Co Taku. There's Frost Frosty. Oh, Frosty. Climax. There. Like climax of night. Yeah, Shinobi runs it. I don't know about this one. <clears throat> this was a uh, French bread First plus time. BB tag yeah. tournament awesome. that uh, Shinobi ran. Yeah. Yeah. That uh, it was a fantastic event. Doesn't pay attention to anything except. Yeah. No, right? If it's not kills it here, it doesn't matter. Shinobi is you. you that's a Kai player. Yeah, Shinobi. Yeah, that's yeah. a Kai player that you don't know. I really want to know where people get all the you know updates and new stuff from the FGC. Like, what's, what's ignores what's my messages all the time. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Am I following the wrong people? Yeah, you follow the wrong people. Oh, is that what it is? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. But I yeah, that was a good. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. It's okay. Sorry, bro. I got a question though. So, who should we follow? Who's the number one person for anime news? Who's like on top of it? Who's 
On the pulse. I mean, people. I think there's there's some there's a there's a rap shit of people, and I think uh, if you want if you want my opinion, I think Anime FGC News does a pretty good job. Oh yeah, that, that those guys yeah, do AFGC a really News. good job. Yeah. Uh, I think those guys don't really get appreciated as much. Yo, shout out to Gibbs. Yeah, so I think those guys put a lot of work. You know, I always tell them, like, yo, thank you guys for, you know, every time, like, a, fin- a result happens, they put up the points. Mm-hmm. They, you know, yeah. they do a lot of work. So I feel like those guys are the ones to follow. Uh, I'm pretty sure we, we always, you know, when a news comes around our way, we definitely, you know, do our, our part. But if you just want to look at like everything and like any little thing, yeah, that's curated like, in yeah, one place. Yeah, yeah, in one place, Anime FGC News is where they would. Where yeah, they would. I would say so. Yeah, so yeah, that sounds like what's it's pretty they're good. at? It's like AFGC, AFGC News. News at AFGC. AFGC yeah. Is it? Is there an underscore? No. Nope. Uh, nope. No. No. Just, just AFGC. AFGC. Oh, OG. OG. They not. They're no underscore. There's oh, no underscore. I got in there early. OG. 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 So uh, we saw like a quick tidbit of tag. I guess we're going there next. Yeah. Yep. All right. Let's go to tag next. So we had a pretty good tag event as well. This is uh, we we're gonna see uh, LTL versus Iron God. I believe this was I, semis. I would definitely say loser this, semis. Loser semis. I would say this is one of the most upset events. Yeah, because, I would agree. You know, uh, a lot of people uh, DQ and stuff, you know. No, 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 a lot no, of them. No, what are you talking about? about? I feel like I'm you're right. generalizing. I mean, I, you know, I'm doing, I'm subtweeting. Right now. Well, you're subtweeting. <laughs> what happened? So. <laughs> <laughs> what? Some, some people want to eat Dairy Queen, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. Some, pe- some people, uh, instead of actually playing, they will grill and chill. Yeah. Yeah. Grill and chill, yeah. bro. Grill and chill. Grill and chill. Yeah. All right. SK went to Dairy Queen. Yeah. I think that's what it was. Yeah. 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 But yeah, so they got LTL versus Iron Guard. LTL, fantastic showing. I think we, we knew he was putting the work into the game. But this was, I think, for me personally, no no disrespect to him at all, but this is his best showing, I think, at a big tournament. Like, he looks super good at this event. Wow. Especially just in terms of, like, I mean, I guess the caliber of players that he usually gets to fight against, right? Or just, yeah. It's kind of, like, not the same, but, like, just being able to, like, take it this far, like, at a tournament like this, it's, like, super sad. You know, yeah, it really means a lot. So, I just mean, like, you know, uh, exactly what you said. The quality of the competitors that are there and still finding his way towards the top, yep. like, yep. I think that really, really seals it. Oh, no. Boop, boop, boop. He's playing the classic Ruby Gord. I call that the, the very strong, one of the strongest teams right now. Yeah, I would, I would uh, agree. In tournament. Yeah. And, you know, doing a lot of damage right now. I'm trying to think. <laughs> he's, he's just doing a lot of damage. He's doing a lot of damage right now. He, he, hit, he hit the grown man. You know what is quite interesting is that I think between the top three of Anime Sancho and Evo Japan, we had like four uh, Ruby Gordos or something like that. Yeah. And we didn't have either of them win the tournament. Yeah, I mean, it's a good tournament character. Yeah, yeah, I, yeah It's a good tournament team. You know, I per- you know, it may be very easy right. and efficient to win, mm-hmm. but it may not be like super strong as a package. But it's good for like games, that, a game like a game like right here, where it's like very fast and very like like you can just die just just with a clap. Right? Yeah, right, right, right. And that, that team does that. You know, mm-hmm. what I mean, makes you oppress you to the point where like you just you know you just dealing with this like gives right you there. gives you a lot more right. You uh, see like cross up, you know, stuff yeah. like that. Like you know, you get hit and now they just. Pressure, you know. Yeah, exactly. Situation. It's a, that's a very good team. Tournament viability, uh, like or or tournament, like friendly teams or yeah. characters that are like, you know, quote unquote, easy on the brain. You know, yeah, for a, you it's to a big think. Deal. Yeah, 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 yeah. I mean, like, yeah, go ahead. yeah. Even talking about like that aspect. Right, like I mean, even just about that joke earlier, right? Like the entire like reason why I like decided to focus on CF is just because my character is like not a tournament friendly character in that sense. Yeah, I agree. like execution is like super difficult. Mm-hmm. Like your neutral presence and like awareness like has to be so on point. So yeah, like, I can't do this in multiple games. Yeah, and a lot of people wouldn't understand that unless they play that type of design character. Yeah, yeah exactly. it's, a complete, yeah. it's a complete package. Right. With a complete package becomes a lot of brain responsibility. Yeah, yeah you absolutely. Look at every little thing that happens on the screen. Yeah. Which is why looking at the screen is so important in fighting games because you want to see like what is the opponent doing and where you're at? Mm-hmm. You know, you have to. It's a lot of like, uh, it's a lot of multitasking. Sixty frames per second. <laughs> Sixty frames per second. Now you can say that you can say that about like anything competitive, right? Like that's super. Uh, one of the things in soccer, the first thing they taught you is like stop looking at the ball. You know where the yeah, ball yeah, is, you right? Are, yeah. You got to look at the player and right. constantly dissect what they're doing, right. constantly see what's happening, look at all the meters. 
and like look at this game on top of it. Well, look at like all the crazy nonsense that's happening in this <laughs> game. How many meters that you have to worry about? Yeah. There's three meters on the bottom of the screen. Yeah. Like it's it's there's a lot of work. So it's like you know for these guys to put as much work as they do into it and like still come out on top, it's like super impressive. Mm -hmm. So we got Shinku here versus Jonah. I believe this that means this is winner. This is, this I, is winners this finals. Winners, winners finals. finals. Okay. This is winners finals. W finals. Yeah. yeah, they played again also in losers finals. Yes. Yeah. Play. Uh, How much time? Was it? Uh, semi or oh, losers? Uh, no, no, it was, it was just, just this one actually. It was just this because it was LTL and losers. Right. Wow. Yes. No, losers finals was LTL and Jonah. Yeah. I got, I yeah. Right. 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 Yeah. A lot of uh like. So just like speaking on like tournament character, like mm -hmm. Yang is actually relatively good as a tournament character. I think so. Yeah, just because, like, her applications are relatively straightforward, but effective, right? She like, wants to go in. She's got, like, the like the JC overhead. Right. Like, one button, and it's safe on block and stuff mm -hmm. like that. Yeah. Like, you know, you can just, like, put it out there and be like, hey, you know, can you deal with this? Yeah. <laughs> and it's... Yeah, yeah. And it's yes or yeah. no. You know what I mean? Yeah, like, exactly. There's no, like, maybe. It's like, you deal with this or you don't, you know? And those characters are very explosive at doing it exactly, you know, uh, how, you know, the damage that mm -hmm. they're applying on the screen. So, uh, it's really very interesting of, like, if you see the variety of the characters, they're all very, like, tournament, tournament characters. You yeah. You, you can see it, like, which is why people are, like, Oh, well, I want to play my character right here, and then let me play something that backs up okay. what I want to do that, that with so this good, character. Yeah. And you see it on the screen; it looks so good right yeah, now. Right? Right, you right. Know, right. One mix up, and then here you go. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Boom! You're bleeding. Two mix ups. Yeah, two mix ups. <laughs> Boom! Two mix -ups. Yeah, the crash. So yeah. it's very interesting. Yeah, uh, I can say, like, as a non competitor, as someone who just, you know, goes and commentates now, that, like, a lot of times when I pick characters for new games, I do have to think about picking characters that aren't as, like, ta taxing on the brain because I don't have the time for that. Right, right, right. Like, I have to pick characters that go, like, all right, I need a simple game plan, and then I need to be able to think about the game around yes. more than the characters yes. themselves, right? So, like, in terms of tournament, that's super nice because that means you get to, like, these things, you just get to, like, pick a mix-up and you're like, all right, I need to oppress, pick a mix-up, I need it to hope to work, and then, you know, try to rinse and repeat until I get this win. Right? Yeah, accessibility to that entire, like, thought process mm -hmm. as a competitor is really important in character selection, which is also why, like, you know, certain characters that are, like, really hard to play are not only hard to play on, like, the technical level, yeah. but, like, the application is, like, twofold difficult just because... Not only do you have to become like super comfortable at like literally performing these things, but the application of them is like yeah, exactly. You know, that's honestly I think way harder than the execution. Like the yeah. application, yeah. the application is super hard. Yeah, yeah. Every, yeah. anybody can sit in training depends. mode and like just press buttons over and over until you get it right. right? Yeah, and what sucks is like the application it dictates how you feel that day. Yeah, that's exactly. Right. So like if your mind is not at the right like game plan, your character like strength. It's not there, you know. Like it's so, it's so important that you have to be there and like, like write, write in the application. You know what I'm saying? Exactly. Yeah, yeah. Rather than just like letting the application write itself. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I've been thinking about like playing different characters for tournaments sometimes, but ultimately like. I'm like pretty stubborn, and then they're like, "Hey, yeah, we're patching the game," and I'm like, oh, "I guess I don't need to anymore." Yeah. Like, <laughs> but like overall, it's like a. It's a pretty good idea, especially, you know, I mean, especially with, like, this whole drama about, like, playing multiple games and stuff. It, there's a way to do it. There's definitely a way to do it. You know, there's an approach to it as a competitor, but there are also ways to not approach it well as a competitor. Yeah, uh, I'll, I'll bring up, like, the best example. I think this is the one that everybody thinks about. Kazunoko. <laughs> look at all the character choices that he makes. They're not too complicated. They yeah. keep it very simple. I mean, like, you look at, what, Raven? saying Raven's brain dead? Yeah. Whoa. I ain't saying Raven's brain dead. I said <laughs> Whoa, he, cut the street. I ain't I saying it gives, him, it gives him a lot of ability to think about the game rather than the execution yeah. of the yeah. character. Yeah. Yeah. Right? Yeah. 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 Character, I ain't gonna, and, I ain't gonna beat around the bush. Player. Character's easy to execute. He's not too difficult, right? right. But the game, the game plan, fairly simple to understand. So it gets him to think about the game as an entirety more so, right? Especially paying attention to the other player. Right. Yeah, exactly. Stuff like that. And then once he uh, get into good situations, a good situation, it's like a recycle and rinse and repeat. Yeah. So like, all he needs to really do is think about how is this person getting out. 
Oh, it gets yeah. out of here. Okay, let me have a setup for that. Yeah. Oh, it gets out like that. Let me have a setup for this. Like how nice it is. You know to what I'm be, saying? Like he's yeah. just turning. Like he's just turning the switch. It's like lights on, lights off. Yeah. You know, like, <laughs> you know what I mean? How nice it is to like do a mix up. <laughs> yeah. Lights on, lights off. You know what I mean? So you just do a mix up and you're like, it didn't work. Lights off. He gets that time. So that's cool. You try to run it again. Like it's like it's it's almost comforting to say that just like that dude guessed. It right is kind of comforting, right? right? He just guessed right. Like you didn't mess up the setup. He just guessed right that time. <laughs> so I, I really have I really have no idea about this game. But okay. What's the what is the it? thing that they're changing with the patch? What's, what's the name of someone's better? Yeah, I think uh, the patch. Like, so in the patch, what they did was so this game right now has this, you know, the cross combo thing where your partner will stay out and you control them with like negative edge in your partner button, right? So that in this version, right, there's a bug where it will gain invul when you tag out of a character. Right? So you can switch between characters during a cross combo. Yes, by tagging instead of using your partner. So yes, it has cooldown, but for the entirety of their attack, they are invincible. So they are unpunishable. You can do anything and have it retain invo, yeah. So you can do like full screen Grim Reaper and it's all invo. Oh, that's why. That's why it was such a big deal. Yeah, that's a huge part of it. So and it, it kind of defines the meta too much at this point. Yes. Which is why characters like uh, like Mitsuru and Ruby and Gordo and Hyde do so well in this version. Yeah, of the game. Hyde is just really good at like denying it, and Mitsuru is as well, especially because they just don't need to use it, or they're just really good at denying other characters who try to use it because they like cover space so well. But, like, Gord is, like, the big offender of, like, you know, oh, uh, yeah, yeah, he uses this super well. So, I mean, there are certain characters, like, Yang, too, who have really good uses for it. Like, her command throw becomes invul. Mm. So it's the invincible command throw. You have to jump. You have to jump. You can't, you can't do anything about it. So, uh, between that, they also removed DP assist from the game. So, if you DP after calling your assist in this game, plus patch, you actually have no invul whatsoever. Okay. Yes. So that is. I love you. I love you, Arxis. Yeah. So yeah, they didn't take it away because DP have the uh, have the utility of being air unblockable. Yeah. But they made it have a different penalty, which is nice. So they gave it its utility still, but like you can't like abuse it necessarily. Yeah, it's not a defensive option. It's just a. Well, now it is an entirely offensive option. Yeah. Just because you're using it for. Aaron Blockable so stuff. But I guess, like, you know, like, just talking about, like, the approach that Shinku took to these matches, like, the way he's, like, using Yang assists. So her 6P is, like, really good at establishing frame advantage at a far range, which Ruby shot. Gunshots. Yeah. 2D6A, I hope people understand the numbers. <laughs> so 2D6A is also just, like, you know, perfect for ping them there. And then Yang will just keep them there, and then it's like, hey, party time, right? Yeah. So that's also kind of like relevant to the thing we were talking about earlier, as far as like mentality goes and like application difficulty, because like you know it's so hard to circumvent, but like the reward off of it is so strong yeah. that like they have to be so scared of this, and like you know you put a lot of like, pressure on them. And, you know, that's how you win the tournament, right? Yeah. Yeah. You literally just keep pressuring them until they crack. I mean, yeah, some some games have that kind of approach, and, like, this game is, like, very offense-oriented, mm -hmm. so... I definitely, uh, I'm very excited for the patch. I'm not a fan of the cross-combo thing, as many people are not, but... Yeah, uh, I can just say from, like, maybe not necessarily its, its general, like, application as a, as a tool, but the unintuitiveness of having a character in front of you and being invincible... Kind of sucks. That is, like it's 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 contradictory to what your eyes are looking yeah, at. If and you like look at how the game like, interprets a lot of scenarios, it's pretty clearly a bug with how they. It, it feels like it, it is right? a bug, yeah. and, and that's just because generally what you like want the teddy, <laughs> the teddy <laughs> slide in there. <laughs> you coming? Yeah, he's coming. You generally want games, fighting games, to be intuitive, yeah. and that's why like hitbox and animations are so important. Mm -hmm. It's not just the thing about like, oh man, graphics like need to look good or bad. No, they need to be intuitive and understandable. So when your eyes look at them, you don't have to fight your brain constantly about like what you're looking at. 
right? So that's that's another thing that's a, that I dislike about cross combos is that your brain is looking at a character right in front of you and saying that's not actually there. But there are hitboxes coming. Yeah, but there's hitboxes still coming. You just can't deal with but it. But also, there's no visual difference for when they are vulnerable when they do an assist attack versus a tagged out attack, right? Yeah, that's true. There's no visual difference to that actually. Which is pretty, uh, <laughs> not good, but, they, well, they, they addressed it, so, I mean, just, it's, the, the nice thing, I was watching this entire finals, mm -hmm. and, like, you know, even though I wasn't participating, I was kind of just, like, I just wanted to see, like, you know, where it was going, and I, I definitely thought it was, like, a really good performance in terms of, like, how do I say this, as, as like, a competitor, yes. right? You know, what it means to play well is not necessarily, like, doing the right things, but doing them well, mm -hmm. right? Yeah, of course. There's a distinction you can make between those things where, like, a lot of people kind of just feel like it's based on strategy, but performing the strategy is such a huge part of it. Right? Yeah, it's not, a, it's not only about what, but it's about when and how. Yes. Yeah. So the general thing is, like, you know, I would say that the kind of idea behind like the team right so especially mm -hmm. like speaking of like, shinku won the tournament right mm -hmm. the idea of his team and like their applications are really like simple and straightforward right, right? and just right. talking about like applying the, those things really well is such a huge deal like that's what won the tournament yeah right, right? so like that was nice to see i i was definitely glad about that because i don't like like watching people just like lose the things that they don't understand of course right? yeah because then when you feel like you didn't get like a good representation of both people's Ooh, strength awesome. versus each other. all right my favorite Ooh. game oh i love kid viper <laughs> What? <laughs> oh, it's your turn. It's your turn. It's my turn. Yeah, it's your turn. Your turn is second. Yeah. That's it. Congratulations, Shinku, Ruby Yang. I'm obviously going to support Yang because she's awesome. Punch people. I'll buy you a blizzard, content. dude. <laughs> yeah, I'll buy you a blizzard. What's your favorite play? <laughs> but, um, yeah, so that's it for BB Tag. It was a pretty good tournament. Um, you know, I also got the announcement for the new DLC coming up, which mm -hmm. is going to include. Heart, uh, which was the fifth fate, and then Seth, Naoto. My boy, Seth. Your boy, Seth. that's right, that is your boy, I forgot. I am Heart. I'm looking I'm, for I'm literally Heart. You literally Heart? I'm, I'm literally my, Seth. My last name is Heart. That's I'm God. Literally heart. Why do God. people keep, keep telling you to play Seth? Is he really hard? He, he looks was, like you. He was. <laughs> he, is <laughs> hard, he is the hardest character to imply to in Yuna. But he's the best character in the game. But we don't know yet, right? Like, the but in tag, yeah, in tag, it might be a different. It might story. be simplified, yeah. And whoever likes Teddy, uh, just you know, there's a Teddy. there's a button in the top right of your window. That, you know, <laughs> yeah. The farthest oh, right is button. Yeah, yeah, yeah it's yeah. a little, it's colored <laughs> a little differently. You can just press it. Yeah. Like, it, <laughs> join join the Teddy fan club. Hit all F four. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. yeah. <laughs> hit all F four to join the Teddy fan club. I'm I I, I don't care about Teddy. I think he's a cool <laughs> character, but I mean, I want to see Teddy platinum. I just want to Honestly, see the nonsense I'm, that that I'm team excited is. to see him in the game. Yeah. I feel like one of the reasons why he was so, like, oppressive in Persona was just because of the lack of options that a lot of characters had. Right. Because, like, you know, Blockstone was so restrictive. Mm -hmm. You know, people had, like, to roll and stuff. And, like, his anti-air was air unblockable. It had, like, crazy hitbox. And, like, a lot of those things are mitigated in this game. So, you know, I've been a I've long time since Persona 4. Too. Yes. Yeah. So you guys got to stop crying about him. <laughs> and there's no status effects as... That's so far. I'm so Maybe. Far. I hope unless, so. Unless he brings them he in. He brings them yeah. in. Yeah. <laughs> but then all the other Persona characters don't have theirs. So. That's true. Yeah, yeah. that's true. So I would we'll, expect them not. We'll see. Right. Yeah. I think Teddy people, Teddy players will be happy, and Teddy. I think Teddy people. Like yeah. Teddy people. Teddy people. <laughs> Teddy people. <laughs> you know, it invokes a type of people. Yeah. Yeah. But I, like I said, I, I'm pretty excited for the character. I think he'll be pretty fun. Mm. Uh, so yeah, let's transition to Guilty Gear and uh, finally introduce yes. Marlon Pie into the talks. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, I have so <laughs> much to say. So, this is winner's finals. This is winner's finals. This is winner's finals. They're at the bottom in the center. This is very hard to read. Yeah, I wasn't the winner's final when they last played that. Well, that's right. Yeah, you played Hotashi twice. So yes, you did. I think this is loser's semis. This would be loser's semifinals. Yes. So this is after I beat them both. But no way. Did you? Why are you feeling yourself? No, no, no. It's not like that. It's not like that. It's not like that. You haven't fallen yet. 
Um, because a weird flex. So you you <laughs> beam KV at this point, but you'd had him beaten day yet. No, that, that, that's not possible. That's not possible because I beat day and lose the semi, so it's, it's not possible. If I beat them, you beat them in losers finals. Finals. Oh yeah, you're right. Yes, you're listening. You're correct. You're correct. Yeah. All right, you spent the whole round. All right. <laughs> now, now, now it sounds like a flex. Oh, knock me out. <laughs> 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 oh, oh, nice. All right. So this was this was a pretty good set. I felt like a KV at this point he finally got warmed up. Like he was looking, he was looking on point. Mm. Yeah. But Day Day's got such a good record in anime ascension. I feel like this is almost his tournament. I mean, honestly, playing playing a Slayer tournament is just. He's just, you want to tear your hair out. Yeah, you just don't want to do that. That's the one thing you want to avoid. It's like, yeah. Because you already know that dude's crazy enough to bring Slayer into a tournament. Now you got to start from there and move forward. And then you have Day, who actually down backs? Yeah, does he down back? Yes, he does. Sometimes. He does. Yeah, sometimes. More than the average Slayer? Uh, okay, I'll give you that. Yeah. His, like, situational, like, awareness in terms of, like, how he challenges and, like, where he knows that he can challenge for, like, this yeah, is crazy. Right, that's actually crazy that in a game that is so OP yeah, heavy that they just forego a little bit of, like, good OP just yeah. to get level 3. Yeah. Wow, hey. wow, good. Oh, there it is oh, right good. there. Attack on that oh, okay. good knockdown. I think... Oh, God. Yeah, so, like... Four dash. Ooh. If KB just wants to finish him, right? right? So KB yeah. probably just wants to pull out everything he thinks he can. Slayer players have to be that is also a threat. Make reading burst. Yeah, yeah, reading when people there. want to burst. Because mm, yeah, so I guess KB was up, huh? I, I didn't realize that. Yeah, Day up. looks so much more stressed no, no, than the guy who just won. Up between everything he has. Oh, that's right. He yeah. Optimal. That's <laughs> optimal. <laughs> it's like a mental reset. It's like, yeah. Just take a nap real quick. Reset. Yeah, just reset a little bit. He's got He's got a bunker. Should I start with a bunker or should I not start with a bunker? Wake up on the wrong side of the bed. We love you, Jeremy. I love Day. Day's dope. The way he takes risks, like, he plays, sometimes he plays, I mean, he's capable of playing intelligent, intelligent but, um, why you gotta say it like that? No, 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 okay. Uh, <laughs> he's only capable? No, 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 what, I, what I'm going to say is he's capable to play intelligently, but he knows when to dumb it down, you know what I'm saying? So, he knows when to go ham. Yeah, he yeah. knows when to, when to go ham and, like, you know, like, yeah, it's definitely it's so slayer. tricky. I, I really like right, that. Yeah, he's like playing the character like two teams. Oh, oh, oh. And oh. hey, you know what's crazy? Every patch is just buff the good things about it. All the stuff that he does that was strong is the first time it just made it strong. We're talking about Slayer? Yeah, Slayer. Oh, yeah. Slayer, yeah, Slayer was pretty low in the beginning. He kept on getting small buffs every, every single battle thing. It, but it was the same buff. It was like the same buff on one move. Like they have, yeah, they like make 6p and they just made it more better. And then it was like, more yeah, better. Yeah, helped the Skelter, we made it more better. You know what I'm saying? Or like, 2s, 2s, yeah. Yeah, this conversion was crazy. That was so rude. That was I will buy that for that was actually not a bad idea. Yeah, yeah. Sure. yeah it would have come back there. Yeah. Yeah. No, uh, I think what he read was a uh, 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 dandy step. Oh, yeah, it would have come Dandy, dandy. Yeah. Hey, look at that. This is how'd you feel about uh, how'd you feel about playing against Day, especially at this point where you where you, you're finally down. I mean, it's just it's just scary to play against Slayer and I know this guy just knows his you know what I just explained. Right. So my my mental state. Thank you very much. Is this the messed up mix up? No, this is just for me. Sometimes I go for the cross up version, and sometimes I go for the. The, the three hit ender. Mm -hmm. The dive gives you oh, a three, <laughs> two, <laughs> eight, seven or something. Like, it's ridiculously <laughs> nice meter so gain. So, so uh, every time you do a uh, dive, you're getting like literally 10% or a meter. Um, if I'm not going for the cross up, that combo gives you like tons of power. You're a genius. You're a genius. You're nice. You're nice. You're nice. The conversion was super nice. You're, you're definitely nice. And then I start feeling myself and I go for a static combo, I drop it, but I cover it up fairly nicely. How do you remember that? How do you remember that you even did that? That's crazy. 
That's the perfect. <laughs> Look, he thinking his head right now. Oh, Dave. Oh, he's not sleeping. Dave's not sleeping. Yo, the sweat. The <laughs> nice sweat. <laughs> oh, I like the I'm nice. nice. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> so this match, I think I won the win the first one, and then... So right now, I, will, I, I just cannot let him burst. I'm, making, I'm trying to make everything burst safe. I'm sacrificing a lot of damage. Um, momentum is lower, corner is farther away, but I just have to because if I lose, if, like, if I go into neutral situation with Slayer, mm -hmm. it's, uh, there's a potential that I just die. Yeah, sure. So, yeah. yeah, I just don't want, I just don't want to be here. So yeah. I'm, now I'm just going to try to approach slowly. I'm going to get back. Yeah, I just don't want to take any risk. But he just doesn't. Virgin, Sometimes he just goes in. Sometimes. <laughs> Sometimes he doesn't. Oh, that was a nice answer on the scale. No. Yeah. And this verse is questionable. Yeah. This is like what with Guilty Your Players call demo yeah. first. You, oh, you did something nice, but you messed up something something so easy or some, you, did, you did something stupid. So you burst to, to fix the situation yeah, or is it? Burst out of rage kind of thing. Yeah. Why are you doing that? that, 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 that okay, so actually, I was talking with an uh, I was talking with an Eno friend of mine, Andy, who got a uh, knife place at this. No yeah. slow. Yeah, he was telling me he was telling me the input is really hard. What is that input? It is six six three five six. No, it's a six six three six five six. Yes. Yeah. Okay. That's not that bad. Dude. Six six three five six. Into, into yeah, yeah, it's six six three six five six uh, three two one four s yeah into into VCL after. yeah very yeah. Yeah. yeah if you want to do that that fast I think like to my capability that's probably the fastest way to do it but um, if someone Ooh. like that oh counter hit is late how do you I got you wait how do I how do you win <laughs> You got counter hit by oh, his late. That's how you won. Dive. That dive literally got you. Yeah, that Eno happens. Yeah. Six H. Yeah. Yeah. I can't believe they buffed six H. I can't believe they buffed six H. So, so yeah. good now. Would you really call it an option select if you do one thing that covers multiple options? Yes, it's not. That's not an option. I understand. I understand. <laughs> but it just <laughs> <laughs> options. But but by definition, yeah. option select covers two things in one thing. With so multiple it's automatically income. option select. That's no. what I'm gonna be. I'm gonna say option select six H. Well, but you make it Covers both options. But you're making it sound like you wasn't gonna do it anyway. We're flex, but okay. <laughs> <laughs> so this is where I uh, end my trip. Thank you. I think this is. One more time. Oh. This is uh, this is grandpa. Yeah. 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 Uh, was it second to last game? Was it three two? Or three? It was. I believe. I don't remember. I believe it was three one because I remember Hotashi telling me he dropped two games the entire tournament. And he dropped them both to you. Weird flex, but okay. Weird flex. <laughs> That's I talk to all anime players like that. Anytime they say anything, like, all right, weird flex, but all right. <laughs> I'm 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 giving Hotashi the the okay to flex because this guy's been looking for his big W yeah, for a little yeah. bit now. Definitely, uh, you know, I've been seeing him for years and stuff. But yeah, and he looked good the entire tournament. He was on point. Yeah, even talking about like that thing about playing well again, right? Like, yeah. He was just playing yeah. mad good. Yeah. He was playing mad good. A lot of confidence, which is sometimes we feel like when I look at his play, sometimes I feel like he loses and gains confidence as the games go along. This one, it really felt like even when he dropped, like there was a, I think we might see it, there's a time where he grabs your burst and loses the game. That could hurt a lot of people. No, that, that definitely hurts a lot of people because you could like, you could just punish the burst like a regular person. Uh, but the thing is, when I, when I burst, I burst on his double jump. That means uh, he's gonna be too high when he right. blocks and lands and still trying to punish. So it makes, uh, me bursting there makes this punish harder. So, um, it's a worthwhile trade, yeah. yeah. Consistent option is go for a throw, I guess. Because it, it covers both uh, burst and second. You know, right. Yeah, it's a shot there. Um, at that at that situation. Do you respect that shot then, huh? I don't respect that shot. You were respecting it, look! Put your hand up, put your hand up, put your hand up. A nice converter. And then what happens? Close slash? Close slash? These are really nice blocks. And this... He'll take that throw. And he's going. He's trying to close slash. That was 5-8. Yeah, that usually works. That's just jump to you. And that's 2-1. Man, man. So, Hotashi usually plays pretty, um, 
to take anime since 2019. Scrambly? No. Uh, because like, when I think of him playing, I feel like he's a guy that really makes good, like, he forces the scramble and then comes out on top. Like, he's really good at making Yeah, messes. that's kind of what it looks like. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. He, he, likes to, he likes to make uh, one point Ds, and he, he wants to, like, capitalize off of that Ruby, like, to a full. So, he's a good character for that, for sure. Right? Absolutely, yeah. Probably the best, actually. Like, Slayer and Burn are probably, like, the best. I think she's actually better. Yeah, I was better. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, the thing with Tashi and Foreman, uh, the reason he can be scary is because uh, is he kind of does the same, similar thing with Dave. Like, he can play solid, but sometimes he just, you know, plays... He knows when to turn up. Yeah, exactly. So he does the same very similar thing to Dave. So that's like the... That's like a trend. Yeah, I mean, but threading that line is kind of like, you know, just like a good strategy in general. Because, like, you know, everything kind of in fighting games, you know, you'll, you'll have an answer. So being predictable is, like, the worst. Right. But I really want... Uh, I, what I wonder is, are they doing this on purpose? Wait, what's that? Oh, no, you should just ask. I died. I died, and Hitachi was, <laughs> was also, like so good in the moment. He couldn't. Apparently, he couldn't see me. He forgot that I was. Ex I was there. You. You didn't exist. So I. Yeah. I, I extended my hand, and then he was like. <laughs> he was. <laughs> and I was like, and then I just got up, and then I let him go. Yeah. <laughs> you, yeah. I mean, congratulations, to Hitachi. He's a pretty emotional cat, so it's like it's. I'm glad that he got the win because he's been chasing it for a bit. Like, and Hitachi, me, is one of my favorite players. Because he's just he's just willing to he is not afraid to play in the mud. I love players like that. He's just willing to get in there and he is like, I'm gonna create a mess here and I'm gonna be a person who comes out on top. And that's a really hard skill, honestly. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So yeah. yeah, it's definitely one of those things where I guess your character choice also influences like how you can approach the game right. in play style, right? It's not only like playing the character, it's like you as a player and how you like to approach situations and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. You know, it really shows. So yeah, and especially mm -hmm. game like uh, Air Dasher games, I feel like allow you to do that quite a bit because there's a variety of different characters. Like games like Guilty Gear and Blaze Blue almost have like different like mechanics of their own character per game mm -hmm. or per character. Like that would be in a, like an entirely different game, right? Like yeah, if there's a game where everybody plays like Elfel and a game that like everybody plays like Slayer and stuff like that, right? So. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> that sounds scary. <laughs> Street Fighter Five, <laughs> but. <laughs> But, like, I want to, it, it showed this weekend because this weekend between Evo Japan and uh, Anime Ascension and Guilty Gear, there was 16 out of 17 unique characters played. Only Raven was a repeat between uh, Manny Blaze and Zadi. But other than that, there were 16 unique characters. So, I mean, that I think that goes to show you that, like, the game is pretty well balanced at this point, and the game's system mechanics really lend to people being able to express themselves through mm -hmm. their character. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And I think that's, like, I, on, when I first saw that, I was like, I thought that was the coolest. Mm -hmm. yeah. Right. Yeah. I think that's cool. Yeah. So Manny messed it all up. Manny messed it all up, yeah. So. <laughs> Manny played really well. I want to give credit to Manny. Manny played extremely yeah, well that Manny. weekend. Yeah. He, I, I feel like he leveled up in the tournament. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> he looks so clean. Yeah, well, as soon as I... Was that you who... You, <laughs> okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. I saw... Nah, nah. Nah, that wasn't me. I don't think so. You what might have been thinking about the other Sin player. What was it me? <laughs> it was so... I mean, he played you so should, clean. You, you sure know? about that? I don't think it was It was really the other Sin player. Yeah. I think it was WNE. Yeah, <laughs> Anyways, yeah. He played really good. He played really uh, well. Gotta give it credit when he's due. He actually uh, was playing Raven and played the matchup pretty well. And it was like, you know, it's like, man, you play the matchup and you play Raven equals good ass character, right? Yeah. Oppressive character, and you know he uh, were able to overcome the uh, overcome and beat me. Uh, so props to him, man. I mean, it was it was in due time to happen. So, you know, you can't, you can't, you can't beat somebody over and over and over in two out of three. You know, if their strategy is better than yours that day, you're, you know, and he's feeling it that day, he's going to overcome, he's going to beat. So, I think he played very, 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 very good. So, and I am props myself. So, yeah, I actually shook his hand and told him, like, you know, you play good. Good shit. I think that's, like, one cool thing about the Air Dasher community in general is, like, a lot of us play with each other. 
in like out of like the people who make up like top 16s and top 32s mm -hmm. a lot of us play with each other mm -hmm. and that's almost natural because we have to these are the best players we have to play against each other in order to get better if i'm not going to get better until i get play against like the top two or top three you know version a uh, guy of that character right mm -hmm. So naturally, we be, all become friends with each other and how, and we play and stuff like that. So when people end up beating us, it's like, well, that means you put in a lot of work. Like, I'm proud of you. Like, good stuff, right? It's not, it's never malicious. It's never like, oh, man, I, I'm, I'm going to get you next time. Like, I mean, I'll, my mindset is like, man, if you outplay me, good, good stuff. Yeah, that's, uh, that's what I'm trying to get at, yeah. I get, I give you props for outplaying me, you know. Yeah. I, I, I would never, ever not take, take anything away from anybody. So, like I said, you played really good. I got a question about your uh, fan club you had. Who is that? Yeah, the kids. Uh, Me, I'm right there. Oh, that was you? Wait, who's <laughs> fan club? Yo, Kizzy's <laughs> fan club? Yeah, the Kizzy why kids? Why, why you got a fan club? Why is everybody what telling me? Um, are you the whistleblower? <laughs> Were you the reason? Are you the NBA? <laughs> <laughs> Were you the one that broke the, the NBA? NBA? You remember, you remember the two kids, right? Remember the two kids who were shooting? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Who, um... I don't know. Did you know them? No, I met well, them that they, day. they just straight up came to cheer you on. Yeah. Are you jealous? I, I, I respect that. No, I respect that. You're not jealous though. Those are, those are my sin army. No. Okay, I'm jealous, <laughs> and I respect that at the same time. All right. We're I met them that day. We're straight. I met yeah, them that straight. day. I offered them rice krispie cheese. They said no. I said, Yo, let's take a picture. Some weird. <laughs> 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 I'm like, yo, these kids are gone. So they preferred a photo with you over Rice Krispies? Yeah. Good kids, dude. Good, wow. kids. Good kids. Good kids. I was like, these kids are broken. <laughs> I actually, I actually, kind of I actually yeah. was like, yo, I'm about to get some crackers. I was like, I want to go get some crackers, right? Because after yeah. I lost, I was like, yo, you guys want anything? I, I just go, I bring it here. And I was like, no. I was like, what do you guys, like, can we take a picture? I'm like, hell yeah, let's do it. Nerf. Those kids. No, Not no, those kids. leave them alone. <laughs> <laughs> leave them alone. That, that sounds kind of broken. Wow. They are they, top tier for a reason. Did you, uh, did you, um, did you find out where they came from, or did you? Yeah, they, they're from SoCal. Uh, oh yeah. yeah. So like local. Local. So you gotta like watch out in the future, huh? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Next thing you know, it's gonna be. <laughs> yeah, that we're gonna really have like an organization thirteen. We're gonna have thirteen <laughs> kiddies and sin. Thirteen, 13 sin players. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, they're definitely. No, no. no. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, good. Uh, good. Uh, just groans in the, the background. Just thirteen so cents. Uh, <laughs> 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 uh, so good. By, by the way, do we have another game that we have to look at? There's Evo Japan stuff. Oh, yeah. Evo Japan stuff. Yeah. yeah. And we still gotta go through all Evo Japan footage. Yeah. yeah so let's do it. Just kick some for it. Just let's go. All right. We, this is Masa. Air bro. Uh, Masa Yukitoi. Yeah. So this is actually another hard matchup for Izanami, which is kind of a. Odd. Uh, my just generally has pretty solid magic yeah, tools though. Mm -hmm. like, uh, I guess for like player introduction, these are both like you know top arcade players for their characters. So you know, obviously they do here, right? Right. So, um, you know, kind of. You don't want to explode the mine. Yeah, you don't want to. You just don't want to explode the mine. Sometimes you just gotta block. For a long time. But yeah, okay. so this is winners finals. So losers finals was Rikatoi and Fenrich. Yes. And then grand finals was Fenrich Masa. Who did Rikatoi play before you, Zanami? Uh, with Falcon 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 yeah. Pretty similar style, honestly. Oh. <laughs> yeah. You like this super? No, this is just a super. This super's so cool. Look at this. Look at this mix. Look at this mix. Oh man. That was old Snipe. Old. Yeah, see, that's also why this matchup is so hard for Izanami. Mm -hmm. It's so hard for her to stay in Exodus because Mai's like tracking spear and like big normals and stuff. Right. Even though, especially like air to air, she can't convert those hits really well without a counter hit. Mm -hmm. It's still like really obnoxious, and you're taking a lot of damage over time. It's just yeah. like a very safe space control. Thing, right? so, that kind of makes sense. Mai being able to control her projectile to go wherever, right? Like it just makes it really hard yeah. for her to do that. Not only can you aim it, if you press D after it shoots out, it'll redirect and track the opponent. So it's kind of messed up, actually. Yeah. <laughs> it's super really to think about it. It just seems like with so many like different designs and characters, like they just like. Happen to give her a tool that just like perfectly like 
destroys this other character's team. Yeah, yeah. I mean, especially you got to like the last like what five or six characters that, that Blaze Blue had. Like they just all ended up being like so like over the top crazy. Yeah, the tools that they got really good. Yeah, exactly. Like I ever think of the top tier characters is always like the last couple characters that got released. Well, there is. I guess like in this version, I well they did tone down a lot of them, but I guess this version it's kind of like Easy Oi, Zanami. Mm -hmm. I think Nine is still really good. Oh. Lychee is also really good. Rachel, oh, there's something else in the first. Carl, Carl's up there. He's still up there, even though he they, they kind of like broke his ankles a little bit. Yeah. I'm glad that kid, that kid's not broken. I mean, he got well, no spoilers. No spoilers. He a lot in the story. Oh, no spoilers. Needs to get toned down. You know, I, I'm pretty sure we just we hit the decade for for Blaze Blue not too long ago. The story just came anniversary for this one. Yeah. No, no, CF. Oh, yeah. yeah. So yeah, Blaze Blue Juice is back there. Yeah. <laughs> Blaze Blue Juice. Right there. Right there. <laughs> what? Yeah. From 2009 when they released that Anime Expo. Wait. The oh, mana. Right there with Jin Kisaragi. Oh, oh. That's wild. Is what it is actually that? liquid? Yeah. It's liquid, yes. It's... What is this? Uh, can I mean, so I'll switch back. back. Yeah, yeah. It. I always talk about it because that's mine. It's mana. Can we, drink, can we drink it? Yo, it no, you can't think, drink it? No, that don't know. probably make you sick at this point. It has nutrition Whoa, fat. Well, risk that. It does. <laughs> Yo, do you see this? Is, <laughs> is there an expiration date? Yo, let probably expire in me. <laughs> until Kizzy? Yeah, until Kizzy. 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 Yeah, No reason. So deep. Is that That's Gee? crazy. Or is Gil? Gee. Yeah. Gee. Is there an expiration date? Is, I'm, I'm really curious. No. In Doom Tunnel. Yeah. I really want to run a tournament where, where, like, whoever wins has to drink it. I'll do Here's it, everyone. dude. I'll come. You got plenty of them? Yeah, you can get SKD to fly all over the, the country just to do that. I would, I would defend our turf and drink it. <laughs> and the fellow so This is like the Who Dies tournament. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and I'm like, I would, defend, I would defend from my state and die from my state. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, God. Let me get back to the video. All right, yeah, all, right, all, right, all, right. all right, all right. So we got Fenderich coming up. Yeah, very, uh, very <laughs> solid play around this. So. I think uh, a lot of cats finally knew of Fenerich uh, when he became a Dragon Ball Fighters player mm -hmm. and, and really showed a lot of prowess in that game. But this is sort of the game where everybody started becoming... Like, everybody in the Air Dasher scene, when everybody saw that he was going to play Dragon Ball, we all freaked out. Yeah. Because we all knew how good this, he was. This is, like, his heart. Like, yeah. This game is his heart. Like, so. Oh, Joshua says, uh, Kizzy, did you learn nothing from the milk? There's a story there. Oh, the milk! That's right! Wow. What's this milk, man? What? Uh, uh, he went through some heartbreak this morning. Yeah. This morning? This yeah. morning! That's too fresh. Yeah. That's too... It definitely let's wasn't talk, fresh. Talk, that's the problem. Talk, let's talk about after the match. Talk yeah, after the match. Right, right, right. <laughs> you gotta get prepared? Yeah, yeah, we gotta get prepared. Prepare for this flying seat. Clutch up. Okay. Ooh, that was a nice conversion. Did not gonna get a lot of damage, but gets a nice situation yeah, up right here. And this is good for Jin because he's not he can't really escape. And he can really all have to back that especially really well in the corner. Mm -hmm. Yeah, a lot of like the Tsunami's like neutral guesses, I guess. Like uh, well against some characters she can like challenge their normals relatively well. Right. But he's got like relatively low reaching normals, so she's got a kind of low profile move that she'll use to beat a lot of folks at that range, but it just doesn't work on him. <laughs> so, yeah, it's pretty funny. So the other good thing about Jin in this matchup is he can Yuki Kaze her ribs, actually. Oh, and it's unblockable, so she just eats it. Pretty much. Oh, she can't really run the, the basic uh, knockdown that she run on most characters. And it's yeah. optimal damage. Yeah, so this is yet another not perfect matchup for Izanami. Yeah, so. it's funny. And it, it got worse this match, too. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. He can actually zone her out. <laughs> <laughs> But, uh, yeah, so I think the neutral is fairly in Jin's favor. Uh, he has, like, a lot of, like, straight hits and leaves yeah, to the Yeah, they're just so long. Yeah, and she's active like, for a long time. What do I do? Like, yeah, right? JB? Like, like, how does she get around JB, dude? She get hit, bro. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, you know, just a lot of, like, options that are really good. And he has so many moves that just hits, like, all in front. Of yeah. Him, you know? And then once you put him in the corner, it's just all she wrote. It, you know? Yeah. And, Jin conversion all goes into the same situation, which is right here. She has to really sit here. Yeah, especially if like you you know you're not gonna like be able to like really weather the storm on defense and stuff. Like Jin will just like frame trap you until you die. Yeah. 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 
No, that's that's fair. Yeah. I mean, that's it's a matchup. It's more about her though. Yeah, yeah. it's a yeah. matchup. She sees about him maneuvering. Yeah. Well, no, well, it's not. Looks like she's like, she's like the, one of the best. Though. Well, the thing is, it's like you see how when she has that, you see that thing yeah. active. She can't block it. Yeah, you can't be greedy, oh. yeah. especially in how you play her in this matchup. So you you can't be greedy. But the thing is, like he that kinda, was a nice jump. He kind of wants to like kill him before he dies, right? Mm -hmm. So he's spending a lot more time in Exodus. <laughs> yeah. Oh. No, that, he just jumped. Up he just, he just jumped B. Oh. And he knew. oh, I see. Yeah. So like, a lot of it is. You can't be too greedy in the matchup. You have to play it really solid as Izanami, which means staying in your other mode. Mm. So, yeah, that's kind of important. Are we going to talk about milk now? Milk. All right. Oh, so, so this morning, you know, uh, I was uh, very excited for a bowl of cereal. Cold cereal. Yeah, cold cereal. Yeah. Uh, you have to make that distinction now. Well, yeah. just making sure. Unfortunately, due to uh, terms and conditions, uh, milk expired. How, how expired are we talking? We're talking like, May twenty eighth. What? What? Wait, May twenty eighth. What? What do you mean, like, like May twenty eighth? This isn't terms and conditions anymore. <laughs> that's not. Complete. That's straight it's negligence. Crazy. Yeah, yeah. That, that, that's, that's the activation vote. This is a violation that, that, of the activation vote. That's abandoned. That's abandoned. Okay. Abandonment. Okay. okay. So <laughs> it expired on my birthday. Wait. What? Okay. Oh, Wait. it's on Sunday. Oh yeah. So that's that's. You Wait. said May. You don't wear an right now. Alright. You know, freak me out. Like, like, yeah, that, that you was, freak me out. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I was like, how am I talking to you right now? <laughs> yeah, because it's, it's kind of clear. Bio terrorism. Like, yeah. <laughs> okay, okay. Bio terrorism. So I can keep Maybe people outside of you. So yeah, so unfortunately, you know, I, I like ate it and I was like, this tastes weird. Mm. So I ate it again. And I said, there's no way. The and I check. ate it again. The triple <laughs> check? And I was like, yo, I don't feel good. Yeah, all right. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> and then, and then four times. Yeah. And then you were dying. And then that was it. That was it. That was it. You were in the bathroom. That was. I I definitely uh, burst. <laughs> yeah, you burst in the yeah, I, I definitely right. burst. Oh, burst super. Yeah, I burst super. You got the brown burst. So, I burst RTL. No, not brown burst. <laughs> not brown burst. <laughs> burst RTL. Yeah, burst RTL. Yeah, burst burst RTL. also too. Yeah. So you got out of there. Yeah, I got out of there. So. That was this morning, right? Yeah. Wow. You look fine, so you did burst. Okay. Yeah. Burst. So yeah, totally. I got out. Good stuff. Yeah. Got out of you. I like that. Burst RTL. <laughs> <laughs> Cereal with the bottom milk is the other stuff. Yeah. <laughs> you shoot it, shoot it the milk, the rod is full of milk at you. You gotta, gotta, <laughs> gotta defend it. Uh, at least it's not microwave. Let's get back to it. Yeah, yeah all right. Go. So we got grand finals of uh, BBCF here. Yeah. Masa versus Fenrich. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so Masa sent Fenrich to losers earlier on in the tournament. Mm -hmm. uh, I was definitely watching that match pretty closely. Uh, Early on in that match, I kind of looked at how it was being played out, and okay. I kind of figured that Masa would win just because of how Fenrich was approaching the matchup. So a lot of what Masa's strategy was early on was to kind of, uh, you know, he, there's this kind of a uh, idea of how more like modern games and characters have been like springing up where they're more oriented around kind of like forcing the guests, right? Mm -hmm. So like forcing the guests in neutral and stuff like that. Right. And like Maya's movement is so good for that because she's got like flips, you know, she's got like dives and stuff like that. Right. So a lot of how she would attempt to establish herself in space, he would just kind of like make Fenrich take the bait, right? So it was very funny to watch Fenrich actually play his game because once I saw him start to play Moss's game, mm -hmm. I kind of figured I was like, this is probably not going to go so well. So, I mean, it, it didn't, and Fenrich got sent to losers, but the adjustment that he made in this set was to kind of just let him do whatever he wanted. Right. And I was, I was so glad about that. I was like, yeah, <laughs> sometimes you just got to let them do whatever they want and just be like, you know what, you do you. Like, <laughs> it's not that bad. Instead of taking like a lot of risks where you don't have to, just to respond to something that your opponent's doing. No. So, and you can tell in this situation he cashed out. Man, he went straight to overdrive. He wanted plus rings or dive kicks or the dive that he wanted, and it just kind of like uh, overwhelmed him a bit. But yeah. now he's back. Uh, he was, yeah, it's lucky he did convert there. So the other thing also is that a lot of times the is controlling space with like whip cancels on jabs and. Uh, Whiff cancels on jabs, but also like on her C normals, mm -hmm. right? So she's just, like CC or AC, and like he will just like tech 
and stick out the normal, right? And in this game, uh, a lot of times when you cover neutral tech or air tech, like, you'll end up whiffing a normal just in case you're wrong. Like, I, it's kind of hard to explain without like a visual reference, but yeah, you you can whiff normal sometimes or you'll be in the wrong space. So for her, she can just cover it with jab and then whiff cancel it. Right. Just very easy. So it... It was pretty weird to see Fenrich disrespecting it uh, very early on, but, you know, he kind of got the idea later. He just let it rock. But, yeah, sometimes you just have to respect characters. That's so hard to block, huh? <laughs> I was going to say, these are... I was going to say, these characters seem to, like, they both have very strong neutral buttons. They both have, like, uh, pretty good space control as characters, so it's like, I was pretty interested as, uh, to how you were going to talk about the matchup. Yeah, the main thing that happens here is, like, the exchange between, like, reward and, like, space control. Yeah. Right? But overall, like, Jin's pressure and stuff is just a little more, like, solid. Right. You know? My kind of has to, like, require, like, commitments from you. Neutral, just like that I was mm -hmm. talking about. She covered a neutral tech on the... Well, uh, Neutral air tech that landed on the ground for right. five A, and then she could cover the extension of it on a back tech with the five C with cancel. So, uh, yeah, overall it's kind of uh, you know Jin hits way harder than she does, and Masa, of course, like just because it's a matchup between like very solid characters. Yeah, it kind of comes down to like who can deal with the other character better. Right. Well, it could come down to that, right? And it kind of does because Masa doesn't really do a great job of responding to Jin, right? But Fenrich is doing a great job of responding to mine just like that. The right. good adaptation to her tools that he was getting blown up by in winners. So sometimes, you know, you just gotta outplay the person's character, right? Really hard. Yeah, and playing against a lot more solid characters in this game kind of does demand that strategy, but it's so feasible that, like, you know, have to. Yeah, yeah. Sure. You got the barrier. Yeah. Some of them. Yeah, some of them. Jabs, you can block, except for some of the jabs. Uh, but overall, you have to barrier some of them in the area. Yeah, mostly bean all of this. Yeah, bean seal on this usually. So. Or, oh, oh, oh. Yeah. He just wanted the, the setup there. Oh, no. Yeah, yeah. yeah that was definitely good. Good stuff. So, uh, real quick though, it's like Fenrich had already qualified oh, beforehand. Yeah, yeah so Masa's in now. So Masa is now in, so we now got uh, we got Masa taking second place and then you know, qualifying that way. Mm -hmm. So good stuff. I'm excited because Masa's uh, best mine. Yes, he's, in arcade. He's, in arcade. He, he seems, yeah, he's amazing. He's a top ranked mine. Yeah, arcade, yeah. He's, he's really, really good. So. Obviously, it wouldn't be an Arc Revo tournament without having Fenrich in there somewhere. So, mm -hmm. you know, uh, I'm excited to see what that goes up. But that wasn't only my representation we had in uh, Evo Japan. Yes. We also had BB Tag. With Tomorello. Tomorello. Yeah. yeah. Tomorello. Yeah. Tomorello. Yeah. Tomorello it, well, his name used to be TM Revolution. Uh, That's what that was? Yeah. <laughs> what? <laughs> yeah. That, That's him? That's him. Why are you changing his name? I don't know. His head's... His head... He's like Saitama now. He got no hands. Scarlet. <laughs> Tomorello, yeah. Tomorello. Playing my gore. God. Yeah. So uh, I remember at Seam, when I watched him originally play, he got into winner's side at Seam, and then he didn't look all that good. Like, it felt like he wasn't, like, put together his team yet, because mm. mine had uh, been released not too long ago, and then it come to Evo Japan, he looked so much more solid. Like, the team was cohesive. Yeah, it was put together. It was scary. So I'm really excited. Like we'll, we'll we'll put that up in just a second. But it was a it was a pretty interesting tournament because uh, we were finally getting to see what Japan sort of developed over BB Tag because we had a lot of BB Tag tournaments in the U S since Evo, but not a lot in Japan in terms of like big lights and, and yeah. Like, big, but they events. they had good player representation. But I guess like you know you'd only really see them if you were really looking. For yeah, them, exactly. So. Yeah, it's kind of that kind of thing. Okay. Yeah. Well, let's go to the next yeah. match. Yeah. Yeah. Bring up here. Yeah, Noble and Kyono. Yeah, so Kyono. 
Yeah. Well, I guess uh, one of the things is like all these guys actually like play each other fairly often. Right. Which is kind of interesting for like your top eight. I guess the scene for this game is not that big in Japan <laughs> overall. Okay. So they, I guess they kind of like you know they like play online and stuff. And yeah. Time, but so the people who play play against each other quite a bit. Yeah. yeah. Kono's team, uh, I think on paper is a little stronger, but it's like harder to apply. But like you know that's. Again, like, you gotta play well, and Carmine is, like, the best at just, like, punishing you for making mistakes. He does a ton of damage. Yeah, yeah. everything, it's huge damage, and, like, S just makes it so that those guesses that he takes are that much safer and easier to just try. Right. Just try. Just like, hey, did you screw up today? Like, well, here you go. So, uh, there's a lot of, like, talks about uh, Yuzu and Mitsuru put together. Like, why would you pick uh, Yuzu over Hyde? To pair with Mitsuru. Oh, why would I pick Yuzu over Hyde? So the thing is, uh, Hyde and Mitsuru, so like Hyde point Mitsuru in the back is not as potent, right? So like this team will give you like really good mix up and like neutral control from both characters. Right. And like the thing is, uh, Hyde's like neutral conversions with Mitsuru assists are not like as crazy, I guess. Okay. And he doesn't transition to threat as well from those neutral scenarios that he's up against. Okay. So I think the synergy is a little better on this team, but it's, again, like, you know, there's there's a lot to handle, especially, like, dealing with both of those characters and, like, just being right in neutral so often. And so I think the team snowballs a lot better, but recovers worse, just because Hyde is so good at, you know, stabilizing and just being like, all right, we're playing game, right? So, right. Yeah, uh, the, the option coverage is not different from Hyde, so. Okay, yeah. It's kind of just like the play styles of the characters. But, yeah, Noble put up a really good showing, actually. I think he won this, right? Uh, yes, I believe the... Uh, he beat Kyono and he yeah. lost to... Uh, who was in finals? I definitely forgot. Who's in finals? Yeah, but yeah, Kyono ended up getting fourth, so okay. it was... It was um, oh, man. Finals were Tomorello versus... Is it Hyde? I believe it was Hyde. I'm not sure. I am totally like just guessing. By well, that sounds I, about right. Well, we, I, were, we were in our tournament. We were, yeah, but yeah, these tournaments happened. I I literally did nothing but like watch and play Air Dashers for three days straight because we got done with our tournament and then I turned on Evo Japan. Immediately. Oh, Kyono might have won this actually, and then he got third. I believe he got fourth, but I, I could. I mean, we're not remembering anything right now, so. Who else is in there? Who's the other guy? Ooh. Oh, I know what the other guy's name was. Something with an A. He was in Winners. He's playing Ruby Gold. The, it was the other Ruby Gold. Right. I think I, know, I think I remember. I think you might be right. Yeah, well, I guess the name doesn't really matter. That conversion was pretty good. Yeah, so the, the damage on this team is overall just a lot higher. And, the set, and just the positioning is so great. Yeah, they, they have better DP assist synergy. Then high better knockdown rate and uh, better spacing. Up yeah, like too. well, the knockdowns are about the same for a Mitsuru point, but Yuzu is just more threatening on offense overall. Just like just like space, you know, space converts and stuff. Right, right, right. So. Ooh. Yeah, so I definitely think uh, people thinking about like Mitsuru Hyde versus Yuzu Hyde. Mm -hmm. uh, I think this team is probably a little different after patch, especially because a lot of what they had going up, uh, going for them over other selections were like DP assist options. But Hyde, oh man, I totally just like mentally <laughs> blanked. I forgot what I was saying. <laughs> oh yes, synergy is stronger on that team, but individual kind of like character play styles because it's so reliant. It's like a steamroll team. Right. It's a steamroll team. You just gotta like gotta be right. And if you win and like it looks crazy and you're like oh my god like but stability is hard so yeah just something to think about you know especially if you're thinking about playing in tournament yes you know, stability character selection all that kind of deal definitely not something to be taken lightly. Oof. did they run 203 in the entire world? yes yeah? thank you for reminding me yes yeah, so this was a two out of three tournament uh and then so this being loser semis means that this was a two out of three, and then the uh, the other set of the turns will be a three out of five. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that was a really nice uh, usage there of like tag DP. Right. So, 
Uh, everyone says DP tag, but I say tag DP because it's unintuitive to say DP tag. Because what happens in game is tag DP. Yeah. Right. But that people can't tell. They just it look looks at immediate. It. Yeah. yeah. Like, oh, what happened? But, like, yeah. So, I mean, the way it works is because you're not allowed to tag. Whoa. Is that a cross up? Was that a cross up? That was a cross up, yeah. That was a cross up. Yeah. So, it was a cross up. And that was a safe point. <laughs> so, yeah, it was a. Uh, I guess since Kyohei doesn't know anything about this game, right? So, you know how, like, say you, like, call a system or dash over them, right? And it's a cross-up, but depending on the attack, like, say it's a projectile attack that's already coming out before you switch into the other character, it'll still come out, and then they have to switch cards. So, this game is about establishing sandwich positioning. Okay. Because... So it's a good term for it. No, no it's a good term for it's it. It's a good term. Yeah, it's a good term for it. I like it. It's it, easy to understand. This game is about establishing like sandwich like position, and then from there, you can kind of like you know cover like push block options and stuff like that. Or every character or most characters have supers on two one four and two three six, so both of their reversal supers will come out or whatever. So like almost every team has an absolute fifty fifty. Yeah. Okay. 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 So that's why, because offense is kind of just like, I mean, not all teams' offense are created equal, especially with cross combo, but because that's getting normalized, I think a lot more teams will just be like, you know, good. Mm -hmm. So, uh, yeah, pretty much every team will have some kind of 50 50 mix up if you let them get it. Right. As long as you can get to the sandwich oh my goodness position. Yeah. As long as you get to sandwich position and like, you know, obviously the certain moves that they will use to convert those scenarios and stuff like that. Or the option coverage because you know, say you do something that will lose to push block. Or if they try to go for this sick 50-50 mix up and instead of uh, you blocking it, you push block and then they whiff it and they have like immense whiff recovery and they die for it, it definitely was not a good idea. Right. So there, there are a lot of things. So one of the big reasons why Ruby Gord is so good is just because a lot of their options cover things no matter what you do. Yeah, coverage looks like full screen at all times to these Yes, and it is involved. And, um, yes, it's involved. Yes, there's a lot of coverage. And it also beats push block is the other thing. Beats push block, uh, like straight up opens up push block or no. uh, just, it just does, does, like, you actually create a gap with push block and then you get mixed up right uh, he looks like a Saitama right <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he does. he's the Saitama of this tournament that's pretty good yeah. 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 so this is oh, more yeah. yeah so he's the guy who wins the tournament so his team is built around that you know that the general idea of establishing the sandwich as easily as possible, where Mai's normals are so good and they're dumb cancelable and she covers space really well, right? So, like, calling your assist like that in neutral and then kind of just like... Oh, so, yeah, you know, that's the other thing, too. So this is kind of interesting to note. So, instead of establishing a sandwich, right, you can use characters who have command throws and tag out of them. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Right? Command throw tag. Yeah, so you can do command throw tag, and because of that, it means that you'll be able to establish a mix-up scenario without a sandwich, right? So that's why my assist is so good. It just covers, like, a huge neutral space, and it's convertible, like, very easily. And if they move forward, right, she can activate, and they sandwich themselves. So. Yeah, but then um, what, from, what you're, from what you're talking about, mm -hmm. it feels like... It's either that or this. Is it? Is that the meta? Is that the meta for the mix-ups in this game? Do they have like in integrated overheads and you know like fuzzy guys and all those? There are things? yeah, there are overheads and fuzzies, and you can always go in the left right if you choose to. Some uh, so yeah, not all characters have those options, of course, but at the baseline, that is part of the system offense, being able to tag your normals yeah, yeah. with proper positioning. So. After you tag out, like say you do an overhead move and then tag out, is mm -hmm. that overhead still overhead? Yes, there are there are only a few moves that lose their high level property. Oh, so. Yeah, very few. Very Probably few. like slower activation ones. The the extremely slow multi hit low, but you can definitely do unblockables. 
Oh, you can? Yes. There's no unblockable. Okay. And, the, and the character doing the uh, other option for the unblockable is invincible, right? Because he's tagged out? Yes, but if you push block either character, it's not unblockable. Oh, I see. Yeah. 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 Yeah, just because they get, you know, they get thrown back or whatever. So, so uh, Tom Morello's reward for beating one Ruby Gordo is to play another. But, uh... Yeah, this is... Al? Al Kramakos? I can't read that. I cannot pronounce it either. Yeah. <laughs> I don't have my glasses. Let me just say Makos. Yeah, I don't have my glasses. So I'm Blind Fury right now. <laughs> blind Fury? Yeah. Yeah, so, like, this is actually a very good team to fight Ruby Gord, but, like, Gord's presence overall, uh, you know, I guess in play, it's kind of just, like, exacerbated by Ryan. She's just really good at bringing out the best of his supportive potential. Right. And just kind of letting him, like, flex from the back. You know? Yeah. It seems like mine does really well against uh, Ruby, it seems like. And Gord. Yes. Uh, she's, like, really, really, like, feels like she has to pace with the match. Yeah. Her normals kind of just will naturally, like, beat them in spaces that they're normally dominant against other characters. And I see one of the situations on the strategy you can use, too, is he got all the way in the air with my and he just kept charging the the, the spear to stall and, out. Yeah, to stall out. And that's, nothing they have reaches the yeah. Yeah, that's pretty strong. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's yeah. pretty strong. I mean, it's it's something that he'll have to do now, but he won't have to do later, because one of the other things that they changed... See, that was definitely a uh, big cross yeah, that's, that's He jumped over, and then he did tag 2C. Is there any other cue besides visual? Uh, audio cue is very obvious? Or There's, it, you can do a four-frame cross -up. Is there all your Q, like, preemptively, or...? No, it's just a four-frame cross -up. That's nice. Yeah. It's just a four-frame This game isn't fair. Yeah, so... You just... Kohei you know, just distracted me while I was talking. I don't, I don't remember what I was talking about. I'm sorry. We are talking... Uh, you said there's one of the new changes. Oh, one of the new changes, yeah. So, as he was stalling out the, uh... The cross combo in the air. So now, when you do cross combo with the above 50% gauge, it drains, like, twice as fast. Yes. So... Yeah, you won't be seeing it used in neutral as much in terms of like the span of it, but like you know, just for canceling purposes and like using what little you have remaining and for cross combos, literally the combos using cross combo, you know, like cross combo combos, right? So those will remain the same. So it's a pretty nice way to address that. I mean, especially on top of the invo change. So. That was so messy. Yeah. 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 That was a ridiculous Oof. DP. Yeah, so Mai's air normals are really good for covering like things below her while she's moving forward in the air. So she gets that sandwich position off like like, like that, right? Or just like that, yeah, with the cross up normal. And yeah, that's that's invincible. So yeah. yeah. So there's a lot of like strengths to wager in this game, just like uh, Macho Bo versus Venom, which I'm gonna call it. Oh. Alright, we'll play it in a second. What's it called? Uh, Marvel 3. You, yeah. know, you remember that game, right? Yeah, I remember that game. Wait, were you a Marvel player? Marvel Infinite? Yeah. Yeah, Infinite, yeah, right? That was, best, that was your best time. That was your prime time. Marvel time? Marvel, yeah, Marvel time. No, I think, I think earlier, Guilty Days was my prime time. No, I think you were an Infinite player. In, in, it's me okay, in, in media. No, Infinite. Okay. Marvel, not even 3? Shh, shh. Oh, we don't talk about that. We'll talk we don't about talk about that. We're talking about Marvel Three anymore. I just know you as the the, the Chun Li God. The Chun Li God. You know? Chun Li God. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the exhibition. <laughs> <laughs> How do you guys remember these? Like, Dude, I'm we're your biggest fans. Yeah, yeah. I'm Actually, I want to ask you a quick question then, just because I've I've watched you play for a little bit now. Uh, you play you played a few characters in in AC. And then you recently switched into well, you know, relatively recently switched to playing Eno. Yeah, do you feel like? Do you feel like? Um, do you feel like Eno is just a better suited character for you now, or is it just because Zato is like uh, underpowered oh. in this version? No, I've known Eno was um, the most suited character for me. Okay, I, I, I've known this for a while, but I just didn't want to uh, throw away the. The skills of learning Zato. Yeah. Yeah. He I, loves him. Well, I mean... You, I, put in, I literally put in 16 years into Zato, and then... Yeah. Um, if I, like, if I can... 
So, uh, yeah, yeah. He's tearing up. <laughs> it's all good, dude. Oh, no, does it sound like Ogawa right now? <laughs> 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 okay, yeah. man. Um, anyway, so, like, it's not, it's not that, like, that far back that I became, like, pretty good with Zato. Right. It's not like the first ten years, like, the first five years I touched him, I wasn't very good. And, uh, like, recent, like, it's, it's only in the recent past that I felt very comfortable with my Zato play. Mm-hmm. Um, where I could, where I could cover all the situations that I couldn't cover it and I wanted to cover, that like that hit like that hit me. The the the, I can cover, like pretty much all the situations. I character can awareness, yeah. Yeah. yeah, against every. I mean, every especially with an open ended character like that, like that skill right. definitely takes years to develop. Absolutely, yeah. which is why why I ask is because uh, your. Your story with Zato is, is not unlike others in the sense of like people learn a specific input system that is difficult and unintuitive to a degree mm-hmm. and and learn to play like you're basically playing with like two controllers in one while everybody else is playing in one and you have to learn how to do that and then to say I learned that skill and then give it up so is kind of difficult. Yeah. Yeah, I tried. Yeah. I mean, yeah. I, I believe just, it. Yeah, just simple. Yeah, just simple. Yeah, I was like, so I, I just from from a uh, spectator's perspective, I wanted to ask about that because I thought it was interesting. I also it makes more sense because you were you're a person who's able to play multiple characters in other games, so it made it sense that you had the ability to do it in this one as well. Yeah, I. What's like your what's other like, character in Marvel, Marvel Infinite? Infinite? Marvel Infinite. Marvel Infinite. <laughs> in, in, in infinite it was you played a chun ultron dude yeah, okay all right well, <laughs> you no, could I, talk about marvel no play. i switched i, I switched okay. to dawnfield reality stone yeah, okay. yeah rea- no, no, no i switched stones too yeah. i switched things i switched things yeah, you mixed so, so this you know switch is you know yeah it's yeah. dante ultron right it's kind of sad how my you know this like month whatever you know is performing a little better than my uh 16 years something all right. That's one thing. Yeah. I don't understand. Yeah. Maybe I should have made this switch like a few years ago. You know? Yeah. 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 Better late than never, right? Yeah. yeah. Well, I mean, uh, I think that it's you know you're you're looking really good now. Yeah. You're looking like the past six months have been incredibly impressive. Honestly, yeah. just really? like as a fan slash spectator commentator, what have you. Like it's been, like. It's been a resurgence in your play. Yeah, it's Seriously. pretty interesting to see like players who like you know say they like switch a character or something, and then you watch them go from tournament to tournament where it's not necessarily that they're getting better as a player, right. but you see how rapid the improvement is across like these things. You're like there's something else that they're learning. It had to be right. Yeah, yeah. It like sometimes just playing your character opens up your mindset or mm-hmm. your abilities or what have you. But you know, uh, I think that. It's like there is no question to say that you're not like a tier one player at this point. Like you're the one of the best in the U.S. Mm-hmm. Absolutely. Like I, I, I don't like try to beat around the bush with these sorts of things because we're not trying to kid ourselves. Mm-hmm. It's funny you're like right behind. Uh, right? yeah, I, I'm trying. To, I'm, I'm <laughs> saying in front of bush the entire <laughs> time. Actually this old, thing has been old. hitting me the entire time. Actually, the bush is yeah. I, I ain't trying to. Yeah, the bush is trying to beat around me. That's the problem. Right. <laughs> don't put me don't in, talk bro. about this. Don't talk about me. But uh, yeah, all right. Thank you for answering that. That's just the you know, I watch players and I have questions that I don't get to ask them all that often. So I appreciate it. Anyway, let's go into Guilty Gear. This is the uh, last term we're going to talk about for Evo Japan. Sato from Inglewood, three one zero. Sato from three one zero. I oh, forgot. <laughs> Yeah, it's equal with Sato. <laughs> Yo, his his kid is adorable. <laughs> oh yeah. yeah. Yo, we're we're, cl- we're claiming him. We claim we him. We claim him absolutely. <laughs> I definitely claim him. He rolled up. His with Twitter him. is the yeah. best. He, he, he just rolled up. A real he rolled up with Inglewood fans. Right? <laughs> so you remember like, when he got married and like everyone was posting like combos that did three hundred ten damage. Yeah. And I that posted was, a, I posted a blaze with combo that did three hundred ten damage. And I was dope. It was, oh, yeah. super dope. You burst them into the corner off the highest hit, and you do five A strike fall, or five A B slash strike fall. It was three ten. Yep. Yeah. That's so. Bad. It was so. It was so different because three ten in Guilty Gear is so high. Yeah, it's like three fourths. A jab damage. does. A jab does three hundred. <laughs> <laughs> right. Yeah. 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 Yeah
right, right, right. So, yeah. yeah, I had to do like a six yeah. percent poration combo to do three hundred ten damage. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think someone posted like a three hundred ten hit combo too. Like there are a lot of like a lot in of Marvel crazy, Infinite. Yeah, play crazy stuff happening. <laughs> I mean, it was all Not to appreciate. It was all to appreciate him, man. I'm so happy that after having his family and stuff, you know, he came yeah. back strong, and he looked very strong. Yeah, man. So he looks stronger. Yeah, he looks stronger. yeah. He looks stronger. way stronger. He beat Nage, right? Uh, right? Yeah, he beat Nage. Yeah, you, you, know, yeah, you know what it is? He beat Nage and he beat uh, Machido. Oh no, I think no, Machido. No, no, Machido. 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 Yeah. He beat him with Kai, and then he switched the soul. And then he mm. I wanted to ask about that. So we haven't seen his soul for a minute. It, it's been Kai, it, it was Sin, and then it was been Kai after the... Well, well from was, what the story I've heard, yeah. uh, the reason why he dropped Sin was because of Nage. Nage made him quit Sin. Damn! Uh, it's like that. Yeah, it was a, it was a beatdown. It was so bad to the point where he switched characters. So he switched back to Kai. And Kai has been doing really well, but yes. uh, against like a, a archetype like Venom, uh, soul characters really, really have a hard time uh, dealing with the balls. And um, his damage output is really, really good. Uh, no, I, I, I agree. I agree. This so, matchup can be kind of difficult so, times. Soul buff had him make makes him run faster, and like uh, Soul is very explosive. So like, uh, you put the speed and explosive character, and you put him in front of a character with no defensive options. Uh, he could really like, uh, like overwhelm him. Right. And that was yeah. yeah. And that was definitely the strategy that he used. He was just trying to overwhelm him. And just sit on top of him and just like, you know, frame trap, throw, mm -hmm. frame trap, uh, stagger, uh, frame trap, go for the YRC. You know, that near. Yeah, yeah, can we near. talk about the banner bringer real quick? Yeah. That was a very risky move by Machado. That could have potentially, uh, like, ripped, uh, through, the, through the game. Lost, yeah, through the game. He almost threw the game. But uh, I back. think something, no, he backed us. That's not a back. That wasn't a back. That, that looked like. I tried to IB probably. IB, yeah, that looked like IB thing. I mean, when you crouch and then stand up and then press back, um, the game registers that as a backdash input. Only, so. only if you move to four before hitting neutral. Um, yeah, I mean, if you, if you, like, say, say. Yeah, you, if you're at one, four, five, four, you'll get back. Yeah, yeah, yeah you, you get back. Yeah. yeah, that one, that four, the first four counts as a. Yeah, so you gotta make sure you're. Crispy. Oh, oh. unfortunate. Yeah, that's oh. Go to that was definitely not reaction. I think so too. Yeah, so. and and you know, versus Venom. Venom has like absolutely no defensive options it, without you meter. You think that was or was it? I don't think it was reaction. So, I think he did it she, too early for it to be. Yeah, reaction. it was too. It was too early. He, he got lucky. I think he messed up the dust one. Honestly. Why are why are you discrediting the wins, yo? <laughs> Oh, man. Oh, man. Up oh, man. Don't discredit his name. Yeah, he, he, he read that. He read that. Uh, he, it was a reaction. Ooh, oh, singer and YRC. Yeah. 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 I like that, that combo. That, that combo was so sick. But then he dropped. Mm. And I mean, uh, yeah. 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 He, he really need needed that position. Yeah. Too. And now it's not looking good. He has no meter. So and now he got hit. Yeah, so the next mix up, uh, uh, guaranteed. Yeah, I'm sure he, I'm I surprised he didn't RC. I'm pretty sure he did. Yeah, that would have killed. That would definitely kill. You could like RC like Bane or something like that. No, RC incident dash back into Vendor Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay, yeah, we got Ooh. losers finals. Yo, I'm so happy that Cha 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 got this far because everybody who watches gear knows of him. But if you don't like watch gear intently, then you don't know of this guy. And we I've always known this dude was crazy sick. You know who I call him? I call him the Cha Cha Real Smooth. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I think Cha 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 is top three in Japan. I think so too. Yeah. No, I think he's super good. But the thing is that he doesn't go out to like American events, so no, no one's not gonna really like come up to him like as a as a household name. Right, and he seems like a very reserved guy. He, I haven't seen him open his mouth actually. Does he? I don't think he has a mouth. I don't think he has a mouth. I don't think he has a mouth. Yeah, it is a lie. It's like the dead, the Deadpool, the other one, the ultra dimension. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> You can only communicate through dance. Yeah, that's what they call it. That's not. That's funny. That's funny. That's funny. Okay, with the um, okay, the more side, uh, I think, I think, uh, in this matchup, mm -hmm. I think, uh, isn't Kuhn in favor? Yeah. 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 Uh, he can't really do back to uh, back turns right here. If he uh, if Hayo has fifty meter, because it's just a clap every time. 
Right, and uh, Leo is an extreme horizontal momentum character, yeah. and Kuhn is really good at controlling horizontal momentum. Yes. Yeah. So, yeah. Oh, yeah, that, that, is, that, that was ridiculous. Yeah. Oh, yeah, perfect that's a weight. Weight. That's yeah, a weight. Yeah, yeah. 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 That, that perfect height, and that's a slash, weight. Close slash, close slash. Yeah. It's, a, it's a perfectly um, adjusted for burst bait, and it's like damage calculated perfectly, too. So it was that was <laughs> My mag just did. Just yeah. wake up blue kick. Oh, and he kept on messing up his combos in this match, and I felt yeah. so... Yeah, but later he started getting them, which was, yeah, right. which was nice. Yeah. Honestly, like, watching Kuhn combos, like, that that one combo, you know the combo I'm talking about, right? Mm -hmm. Just the, the kick combo, right? Oh, the yeah. right. Right. kick loops? It's the most, like, it's just, like, as a spectator, it's just, like, so nice to watch. Every time it's satisfying, know. absolutely. Kick, 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 yeah. kick, and then slap. Kick, 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 I see you, Andy Dwyer. Uh, also, I want to say his ball movement was actually really, really good. And uh, in the matchup, you'll kind of see when people start doing the one four one four us or the one four the one four one us or with the four one. Yeah. Sir. Oh, like the fuzzy block. The fuzzy block. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You could uh, you could tell that he did anti setups for that. And that's why you notice that the ball kept going further, and then he'll bring it backwards. It's because he wants you to oh, take that. Distance. Yeah, so he wants you to take that initial mix up. So, uh, like the way to get out of it is kind of like to like a bar out, but it's very hard to like pick that situation because you can't tell what. Yeah, the ball is just so yeah. it's like teetering that line. Yeah, right? and I feel like that's a lot of player skill uh, to have to do something like that. So, you know, the fact that he was able to like. Do that, man. It's so good. And uh, this character, not only the overhead is threatening of this character, is the throw with the ball is actually a threat too, because uh, with the ball you can convert into a four one four. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. convert into the full kick combo, the, cha -cha, the kick 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 cha -cha -cha combo. Yeah. Um, <laughs> with the normal throw, and normal throws are one frame this game. If you if you're get, you know, looking for something else, you just get thrown. Yeah. That's the only here. Yeah. And, and the reward is he gets. Is like, yeah, huge. And then you know what's crazy too? His uh, his wow. throw. Chop chop chop. Kick 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 kick. Oh, he couldn't get the kick kick. Nope, he got the <laughs> yeah. knockdown. He, 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 he got the corner. He got the corner. And uh, also, um, Heyoon um, uh, OS throw button is very good too because it's close left. So he converted that. Yeah, he does now. Cool. Uh, he walked up. He was like, shoot. <laughs> yeah, one of the thing about his throw uh, about Kum is that his uh, throw range is one of the best in the game as well. Uh, yes, it has a very very strong throw game because of that. So the ball placing and all of that is is. It's kind of scary because you also have to guess on when he wants to do the throw, right? How many hits does he have left in his ball? Oh my <laughs> goodness, he did that. Look at the knockdown setup, right? He knocked on full screen. Yeah, but honestly, I think that's a safe option. Um, if he wanted most most benefits from that combo, I think he would go for crouching S into Sheen Oh, so Ooh, the, right there, he also missed the, cha -cha, uh, the kick it. Yeah. Yeah, the kick it does so much damage, and it also leads him to that knockdown. So yeah, it's time you yeah. Right, yeah, you should. Yeah, his neutral with Kuhn is actually... Very this is bursting. Yeah. <laughs> that first this one is was burst. not. First one was not. Uh, if you he could oh RC, but yeah. Oh, you could RC there. Oh, all right. Yeah, he yeah, he made made it. It. That's the only reason he only he bursted far away, so he doesn't get baited by the RC. All right, so we then we got uh, Summit slash Samito has a versus has Chop, Chop, Chop. won a, yeah. a match before this. He won a tournament. No, he did. You mean a, a, like a tournament? Samito, right? That one. Uh, yes. not an Evo, no. No, Evo no, no. Wait. Evo. No, it was a art. Uh, not yet. Nage won though. Oh, you're talking about Ark, uh, the Fuyuki, the Toei thing? Yeah. Uh, the one I also went to. Oh, Ark. Mm. Oh, Ark Rebel? Yeah, yeah. Ark Rebel, yeah. Who won that one? That was Amido, right? That was Amido. Yes. yes. Okay, so he qualified. So he qualified, right? Yeah, so Amido's qualified. Yeah. So that's why he didn't answer that. Okay, okay he was there. Alright, so. That means Amido, is, since he won, he is now in. Yeah, he's now yes. also in. Wait, what, did somebody take a second place at our problem? Yeah, he did. Oh, so... Oh, he, this is a, like a little deserved comeback then? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So, yeah, yeah. He just yeah. took it out on Cha Cha Cha. Yeah. yeah. This was a really good set, though. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
is probably uh, top three in Japan. And apparently he puts himself under Cha Cha Cha. Uh, wow. We're trying to downplay ourselves? <laughs> but Cha Cha Cha, I mean, what I'm trying to say is that Cha 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 is damn ridiculous. I, I really think yeah. this guy is I definitely the best yeah. Yeah. And I'd like, who is he? Did he just start no. playing? No, he's been around for a while. Like how, like what did he play? Uh, he definitely, I like, he was playing in Revelator. I don't no, know. His, no. I don't know his history don't, previous to Ixerd, but yeah, yeah, exactly. That's what I'm saying. He's yeah, started, but I remember. But as soon as Heehyun was out, he this guy out. already established himself as like one of the best. Yeah. yeah. The first time I saw him, I was really confused. I was like, "Wow, Kun moves like this. Kun can do stuff like this. All the all the like really high damage and combos and setups that I saw." Like, yeah, like these, right? Yeah. 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 The yeah, like, yeah, those, those optimal, um, uh, like, good situation, good damage combos. First time he, the first time I was introduced to those was by Cha Cha Cha. Yeah. yeah, and I'm pretty sure a lot of people are stealing this deck too. It's that cool. Also, <laughs> it's, I mean, so are you I saying, think so, yeah. He yeah. So yes. every Heyu player is just a spirit of Cha Cha. <laughs> it's, one, it's just one cha from the cha cha. Oh, there's still yeah. 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 C. Yeah. C. C. Okay. Yeah, so one of the things about this matchup that, like, is why Samita was so stressed. Like, every time they flipped to his camera, my <laughs> man was sweating. He was yeah. so stressed. Is that the, the Shinken loops are so, like, they hurt Chip so much. Yeah. And they're so hard to deal with. Exactly. Um, if, you, if you play Chip, I mean, like, Chip has a very similar meta against like a lot of big characters like Tekken right. or maybe I don't know like Zato or whoever. He wins heavily in neutral. Like right. he's getting all these little hits. Uh, he gets. I mean, he's supposed to. And uh, it looks like Chip is doing well, but in reality, that's how like the opposing character is created. Kun gets one hit, <laughs> yeah. and the Chip actually happens. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, he's gone. Like one counter, one counter Shinken, and he's stunned. Yep. And his oh, <laughs> this is a good situation. I'm pretty sure I've seen that on the Sistine chat. Yeah, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, they just do that on purpose now, right? Yeah. <laughs> Four times now. Someone at Arxis has like a button. Are they like? <laughs> <laughs> they watching? Three, two, <laughs> All right, this one. three, <laughs> two, one, go! Yeah, look at this. Whoa. Whoa. Ooh, Ooh, look at this. Ugh. That's that's what I like to see. Into the Shinkin? Into Cha Cha. Cha Cha. This is Cha Cha right now. It's, 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 it's over. Oh, okay, good blocks. Wow. 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 Perfect. Perfect timing. You know, that's the only character that could probably do that. <laughs> <laughs> I don't believe that. But, 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 no, but sure, yeah. every, pretty much every character <laughs> that's got a decent enough 6P can, yeah, can yeah, do yeah. that. Wow. Like, like, this sure. is probably I will say, like, fast. one of the things that always blew my mind is I can't believe they buffed his 6P from, from XX. Because you used oh, to have the old two hit yeah, one. Yeah, that was so and, stupid. And it was kind of trash. Right, if you <laughs> and, whipped, you were finished. Yeah, exactly. But now it's so It's like one of the best 6Ps yeah, in the like game now. I remember yeah. Jam 6P being like that. Where it was like. Oh, yeah, yeah, Toto. That's it. Yeah. <laughs> Isn't it kind of still like that? He, she's still well, yeah, she does. Now. Although, uh, yeah. it's, it's plus it's on block now. Oh, it's plus on block. It's plus on block now. Really? Yeah. Okay, it's plus on block and special cancel if you want it to be. My oh, man just waited. He just waited. He's just like, I'm gonna just swing into this. <laughs> it's definitely a funny approach to watch someone take. Like, in, like imagine, like, this is like the last out of the tournament, right? And, like, yeah. Summit is already taking the initiative where he's like, I'm gonna mash on this offense, like because I'm gonna explode. He's going to explode. <laughs> yeah, and now this he's is explode. just the sickest confirm. I mean, he did yeah. DP. He did run DP. He definitely deserved his damage. He also couldn't get the last DP because his uh, back dash DP was slightly delayed uh, by accident, I'm pretty sure. So he. Wow, he that was a really good double jump. There. Yeah, this character is sometimes hard to play in terms of execution because the uh, Shinken loops are dependent on how far you are from the sides. Yeah. So like timing like and stuff like that is dependent. Yeah, he's been throwing that out a little bit. Yeah, Arx has got the button wow, sleeping that for that time. It's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> You can't. You can't see, see it. that. Like, you can't. You, yeah, you actually. You actually can't. can't see it. But you know what sucks too is that's like the mi minimum damage you can take. So it's best just to take. You just take the leaf grab. Yeah. It's really sad. Were you not? I can't believe that didn't come. It was not sound sound damage. Damage. Like in that in that situation, really like the sound. Well, he's still hugging. But he's still hugging. 
Oh, do we? Do we got oh, that's, that's it? No, we got, no, no, is no. that it for the for the there's, video? There's one more round. It? There's supposed to be one more round. Yeah. Do we have to pay? Really? Right now? Oh, man. You have to pay, have to pay for premium Jesus. subscription. Oh, yeah. 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 Sorry, help guys. Us. Subs only. Oh, subs only. Subs only. Guys, yeah. help us. We need your help. Yeah. Uh, yeah. yeah. Look at the... Like, <laughs> Oxy is in danger, and we need your help. Oxy is in danger, and we need your help. All you need to do is give us your credit card credit number, card number, the three digits on the back, back and yeah, the especially the three digits on the back. Yeah, and, and they don't give you a link. It's a good one. Twitch.tv slash Evo Four. Yeah, but <laughs> yeah, but uh, if you didn't know, Samito Summit ended up taking it, so that means he's going to be qualified for the Arc Revo Tour. Uh, Arc Revo Finals, I mean, and uh, yeah, that's it was sick. If you haven't seen it in its entirety, you should watch it because that was. One of the most uh, explosive sets I think I've seen it in a little bit now. It was really good. That was really good set. Okay. That was really good. Yeah. The top eight <laughs> at Evo Japan, just like Anime Ascension, did not disappoint. It was a good. It was a good tournament, top to bottom. Mm -hmm. So yeah, uh, yeah. Do we have anything else that we need to hit on the docket, Mr. Producer? Uh, no, 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 no announcements, no nothing. We're a little dry right now. It's all right. No big deal. Okay. You know, don't don't worry. The right, sixth fate is Kuni on Kun, so we don't have to worry about that. <laughs> And then, <laughs> I'm going to talk about no more Kunio Kun. Uh, look, man. What? <laughs> you know. All right. Let's, yeah. let's go. All right. In due time. <laughs> In due time. Yeah. That's Kunio. Yeah, but if you guys could hit us with those numbers, you know, we'd be very grateful. Yeah. And digits. Yeah, hit yeah. them digits, man. Hit them so, three digits. Real quick, I want to say thank you to the PG boys for showing up and uh, and hanging out with us and providing their insight and being awesome people in general. Thank you for that. Uh, and then we got, obviously, UIU's Kizzy K here as well. Mm -hmm. Three of the best we got in the uh, anime uh, or uh, air dasher scene. Yep. And uh, tell them where they can follow you guys and what, uh, they, what you, you can plug. You can follow me on Twitter at Kizzy underscore K310. I got you. Uh, you can follow me on... Uh, Twitch, uh, KZK310, all together. Uh, and you can also follow my YouTube at KZK. Uh, I'm going to be posting a lot of content, a lot. I'm going to be streaming a lot. I, I mean, I do stream a lot. Mm -hmm. So I've been streaming a lot lately. My schedule is like Monday through uh, Thursday. And I do Friday when I travel out after an event and I fly in Monday. So I will stream Tuesday through Friday. So I have like a mixed schedule depending on how my tournament schedule is looking so you guys can follow me there and watch me play guilty gear and various other games and are there giveaways on your stream uh yeah we have a giveaway going on right now i am hey. i am actually giving out rev 2 <laughs> uh, uh for playstation 4 so if you guys come through and uh come to some of my giveaways you'll be getting a digital copy with the system voice and all of the colors uh available uh, instantly when you get the code. So, Wait, can I have that? No. Yeah, I don't think no. I have all the colors. It's not, are you, like it's not like that. Are you in my stream? Did you follow me? No, you all follow Ooh. me though. Just give him your your numbers, you dude. Give him your digits. The three yeah. digits on the back. Yeah. 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 That's how you help me. But now I help me help you. <laughs> okay. Right. Kizzy K is in grave danger. Hey, <laughs> Kizzy K is in grave <laughs> danger. Jaya Koop. Potenjin. Where can I follow you, Marlon? Well, my Twitter's over there, and uh, I, unlike 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 you, I uh, um, simplified mine. Oh, you mine's, did? Mine's Simple. all Marlon Pie. Everything's oh, Marlon. YouTube's Marlon Pie. Uh, Twitch is Marlon Pie. I even changed my Twitch name. I I, I had to go through some. I forgot about that. Yeah. You know, I wish yeah. I was original. Yo, rest in peace, your old name. <laughs> 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 even yo, I had to buy MarlonPie.com. <laughs> That's pretty good. <laughs> really? <laughs> <laughs> someone, had, yeah, someone had it and check. Wow. How so, much was it? Uh, I actually didn't buy it. Uh, some of uh, my, you know. Okay. That's yeah. Nice. Sounds good. Congratulations. The daddies. Congratulations. Oh, anyway. All right. So yeah. SKD, where can they follow uh, you? It's right there. Uh, if you hit my Twitter, I've got all the links on the top. They're in my pinned tweet. Sounds my, good. Yeah, my Twitch, YouTube, and everything. It's all the same. Uh, I'm going to do a giveaway for BBCF on Switch later this week when I get back. That's right. That's so, uh, yeah. I, I want to say that I stream. 
I, I try to. I'm like, <laughs> you were one of those people? No, I'm so busy, dude. Oh, yeah. I'm so busy. That's why I like I understand. You know. I mean, he just wants live stream. You want to see why you're busy. You know how busy he is? Yeah. <laughs> we, we've been waiting. That's true. We're, we're not so, busy. So, we, yeah, we're not busy. Yeah, we're not busy. We're not busy now. But he, he, he got some things. Yeah, I got a lot of tweets to respond to. Yeah. <laughs> a lot of disqualifications. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I got to tell people, yeah. like, oh, yo. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You gotta be like you're disqualified. You're qualified. Yeah, you're, you're, disqualified. you're disqualified. You're, you're alright. Right. You're, you're, right. right. <laughs> you're disqualified. Definitely like show some love to like the Axis guys. Like you know, yes, Mike, please Taka, do. Like they worked so hard on that event. Yeah, especially yeah. Taka and Mike. There. Yeah, 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 they, yeah, those guys, man. Bust their ass. Talk even with the then. even with the new staff that's been coming through and the people that work in the back end. Like I appreciate you guys so much, but. You know, like, Taka and, and Mike, you know, they went through so, like, hard. Like, they were, like, the front guys, and they just engaged everything. And yeah. I Yeah, I and they, like, really, like, interact with us and, like, yeah. engage with us. And, like, it, our words, well, like, really mean something. Really appreciate it. All right, we're going to head out. I love them so much. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, all right. Anyway, thank you guys for tuning in. Make sure you guys throw up the follow on Arc System Works on their channel so you know when we're live next week for the next Arc Live. Until then, we'll see you guys. Thank you. Have a good night. Huh? Huh? See huh? You, huh? huh?